breaking news, Robert Logan is returning to court to appeal his case. Turning on the Eden Falls Christmas lights with special guests Maya Hirsch and Delilah Logan. Well, join us as we delve in after a week away into the world of Eden Falls in chapter six, unless the writing be erased. With all of you having prevented the release of Robert Logan, foiling the latest in Magnus Logan's plans, leaving him with a wounded leg to boot courtesy of you, Dala, you bid goodbye to both your friend Eli, who escaped Eden Falls with his family, and Magnus's henchman, Matson, who left tied to a tree. The next day, Amelia, discovering once more your family's financial hardships in paying for your sister June's treatments, you headed off on your paper run, only to discover the return of a familiar face to Eden Falls, Nico Hawkins. Filling them in on everything that had transpired over the last month, your visions of Eden Falls and its destruction, the door to the future you had discovered at the Logan Estate. Your brush with the neurocasters that were populating the town. Devices Nico had observed being delivered to a Logan Industries warehouse. You made your way to Jenkins High to meet with the others. Meanwhile, Drake, catching up with your family over your father's recent job offer from the Logans, you had a frank conversation with your sister. Still reeling from the visions you had seen of your mother and your old house in flames. And reassuring you that she would always be there, she gifted you an old photo of your mum that she kept with her. And at Eden Falls Hospital, Dala, checking in on your father, you found Commander Decker from the Loop doing the same. Also hoping to find out how you were doing. And as you talked, a third figure joined this conversation. Your dad, waking. Apologizing to you and promising things would be different, you left him in the care of the hospital staff before heading to Jenkins High to meet with the others. There, you caught Nico up on everything, along with your collective desire to investigate further, a desire that, having just returned to the town and his family, Nico seemed reluctant to share. But nevertheless, you all agreed to discuss it after school. And as you went about your respective days, Drake, you read a letter from your now-departed science teacher, Mrs. Sparrow, in which she bid you a very fond goodbye and wished you luck for the future. And so, with school coming to a close and the end of term looming, after walking Amelia's sister's June home, free from the designs of her classmate Michael, you split up. Drake and Artie, you headed to the Hawk Cave to catch Nico up, while Dala and Amelia, you went to check in on Matson. But upon arriving in the clearing where you left him, you saw the former head of Logan Security was gone. His bonds were cut, and the miniature crossbow you had gone to receive, missing. 
You stand there in the middle of the clearing. The moon shines down from on high, but you see the broken rope. And of Matson, the two of you see no sign. Uh, tell me we're in the wrong spot, right? No, we're not, actually. Um, Darla's going to immediately grab out her walkie-talkie, and she's going to contact Mr. Jenkins. Hey, okay. Mr. Jenkins. <coughs> Hello? Oh, good, you're still alive. That's great. Uh, hmm, question. Have you... Actually, you probably shouldn't have even left your place. She's being very careful about what words she chooses. Uh, but if you happen to have done that, do you happen to see anybody in the woods at any point? Tied to a tree. Uh, no, no. I, even for you, this is a strange request. Is it? What is uh, to me? I guess not. No, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, okay, cool. Um, all right. Glad to hear you're alive. Stay alive. Uh, talk, talk soon. Wait, do, do you? Oh. Are, are you? Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm totally fine. Uh, just trying to find a man that was taken by Eli, and now he's untaken. It would seem, unless he actually was double taken. That could be a thing. And she's looking at Amelia. He could have been taken again. And then at that point, that's not a responsibility. No. no. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not so much what? about... Fine. Have you talk? What do you need from me? Uh... She's gonna let go of the button. Do we need anything from Mr. Jenkins? I just wanted to make sure he was okay. No, he should stay wherever he is, so that way he's alive and he's well. Being out and about is probably not a good idea for him. Uh, she's gonna put her finger back on. Don't die. Stay hidden. Okay? That I can do. Awesome. Sick, that's all I ask. Uh, we'll talk again soon, I think. Maybe. Hopefully, we will. <sighs> Good night, Mr. Jenkins. Good night, Dollar. <laughs> she turns it off. Or not off, but let's go. And puts it back in her bag. Um, well, hmm, this could be bad. Yeah? But to be fair, I did kind of leave him here and mainly for the sake of everybody thinking that I am a murderer. <laughs> Gave him a chance of survival. I didn't wish him to surprise me <laughs> by leaving, getting uh -huh. out. Um, I also don't see the crossbow. Cool. You left the crossbow with him. A weapon? I told you this already because I had the right. gun. Right. That she pats right. in her bag. At least we've got that. Okay. No, no. It's fine. It's okay. What did I say? It's not fine. What do you mean? It's out here. We don't know. It, you think he could be double napped, which is a very strange, but I guess a likely situation. But double? at the same time, he's... You know, instead of kidnapped again, you just say double napped. I swear I read that in a book somewhere. Don't doubt me on this one. I remember things that I've read. And I, but I think the other issue is, is that, well, he's out there. And we don't know where he is. Yeah. Well, you may not be safe. <laughs> to be no, fair, I don't think I'm ever safe at this rate, but that's not my main concern. My concern is that I want to put this crossbow away for Nico because I, I told him I would. Listen, I'm worried mad. about you. I, Why? I appreciate. Nico will be fine. I'll, it's a crossbow. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's one of the million of knickknacks that he has up there. It'll be okay, but it's it's you. I don't. You seem. A bit <laughs> if you're cavalier nervous about, this. about me, Very. you should be nervous about yourself. Well. Oh. Yeah. No, first of all, my house was not burned down. And also, I mean, so far the family's only treated me well. And I don't really know who you kidnapped. He I didn't really kidnap him. It was Eli. Oh. He took a man. Quit saying kidnapped. He's not a kid. What do you want me to say? Man napped? 
No, actually, that, that sounds, sounds kind of fun. What? I like that one, actually. Madnapped. Right. You didn't madnapped him, but you were responsible? You left him out no, in the no, woods. No, don't put that on me. Okay, fine. But I, I take responsibility for a lot of things. Right. Potential death on people isn't my favorite. Okay, that's true. And I'm not going to put that on you. Thank you. Eli did that. That's right. Eli, well, Eli Sparrow did <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> the, I don't know. At this point, I think we're always being listened to, so. So Eli man-napped. Man, man-napped sure. him. But does, pointing to the broken ropes on the ground, does he know that you're not involved? <laughs> well, I'm sure if he talks to Magnus, he's going to know immediately that I'm involved. Oh, I don't think he'll know that I left him here. Oh. Well, I took his credit. Uh, you what? We should get back to everybody else. No, 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 no. If I'm a danger, you need to be safe, and we should get out of here. We can talk and walk. As amazing as that sounds, I have... I can't multitask, actually. Yeah. She just starts walking ahead of you. <laughs> this isn't over. I gotta focus you on my steps. Oh, well, there's a ah. lot of branches. Careful Don't about that fall. one. I don't want you to get hurt out here. Ah, and <laughs> Amelia will try to stumble after you, keeping up with, I assume, what is a very brisk walk away from this <laughs> conversation. After some time, she would go back to, I'm not go back, but slow down to kind of loop her arm with yours. Come on, I'll keep you up. Thank you. Don't need it to look like I beat you up, too. I didn't beat him up. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm choosing the wrong words right now. Do we stay around people, or will that put them in trouble? I don't know. This is a lot to consider. It doesn't feel like there's a right answer. At least that we can't tell until after it happens. Yeah. You're thinking too much into this, I think. I don't think I'm thinking enough. I would Maybe say so. Hard. That's why I told you earlier in the bathroom. No. You just need to think about your family. That's it. Maybe. My family lives here. Mm hmm June likes school and even... Michael. As you admit it. I'm not. It's been it, really cute to watch. Uh, cute is one word for it. I would call it stressful, annoying, weird. I could come up with more adjectives, but I don't think it's necessary to get my point across. You know, you should feel lucky to feel those things. I wish I could have felt that with my sister. Maybe it's why I feel protective over you. <laughs> because you seem like a danger to yourself. I am not a danger to myself. No, I don't know. I, that's debatable. Very debatable. Can we flip back a few pages here? Your sister. Yeah. What about her? I don't. I don't think I know too much about her. Nobody really does. Do you want to share a few things? I mean, I already shared a bit about June. <laughs> She's all over the place these days. Saying yes to everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't want to talk too much. Because it makes me feel too many things. <laughs> but... She was my best friend. And... She looked just like my mom. She had, like, really bright blonde hair. Which is super funny, considering mine is very dark. <laughs> And then opposites, she, really, huh? Kind of. In a way. So but my mom had really bright blue eyes, like mine. And then Tracy had my dad's hazel eyes. So it was a really cool mix. Tracy. Yeah, Tracy. But Well. I like hearing about her. She sounds like she was Lovely. Yeah. She... She was. Just, she's literally the exact same as my mom. It was really fun. And also sometimes annoying. 
Tracy doesn't live in Eden Falls, does she? Tracy died. With my mom. Which is why it's just me and my dad. Sometimes there are rumors around those things, but I never wanted to really pry. What rumors are you hearing? Well, I don't think it's a secret. You know, it's just, I don't talk about it. And people say it quietly, though. It's not the stuff that you talk out loud for. I guess maybe you do, though. Mm. <laughs> this is the most I've kind of talked to, to somebody that is not already about anything familial related in a while. I don't know what you're doing to me, Amelia, but you better stop it. She's kind Listen. of dragging you along a little faster. We're just friends now, and you're going to have to get used to it a little bit, okay? Also, I'm short, and you have to walk slower because I can't take as I'm many like, strides what, as you. I'm like, what, three inches than you? <laughs> be different if it was, say, Drake. He'd drag you. <laughs> oh, damn, I feel like I have to jog every single time. I'm running on the tips of my toes, and I can tell my shoes are worn out more from that because of having to do that. It's You exhausting. need better shoes. You can't run in those. I, it's, Is they bad fit for well normally with my bicycle. Actually, I didn't thank you for the bike. And if I'm putting two to two together, you didn't pay for that bike, right? I did pay for the bike. That's how I have the receipt. I paid for it, and you don't need to ask too many questions because you get into your head and guilt trip yourself into ways that don't even matter. Say thank you, ride your bike, move on. Amelia will like squint her eyes for a hot second. Adjust her glasses. Fine. Thank you. You're welcome. But don't do that hard. again. She's gonna slightly Ooh. punch you in the arm. Clearly nowhere ah. near as hard as you can punch. That's oh my gosh. not fair. Are you working out? That's don't. really painful. You're mocking me and I know it. You're I not. know that. You you're know not. I can't punch I, you know, hard I think like you're you. getting stronger. I think it's just because you're ready to take out Michael. You're such a big sister. I have to. Drake cha trains him. I can't just... Go and push a, a false, I can't, what am I saying? I can't just go push a small child down. That would be, but I could. No, could. I shouldn't. Um, it's fine. You could though. I could, I, uh, don't, you're, look at this. Look at the influence you have on I me. I just said you could. I didn't say you should. If you take now. it that way, that's not me. So. I shouldn't push him down though, should I? <laughs> not if you want to keep your sister happy. Yeah, probably. But I can do it if you want me to. You that would me. be hilarious. Yeah, you want me to? Should... No, I'm not going to ask you to push a small child down. <laughs> okay. I'm so tempted to make this a new donation incentive. <laughs> Darla pushing down Michael. <laughs> so Come here, you Push. rug rat. <laughs> <laughs> Are we the bullies? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> Well, there I. needs to be a spin-off from Michael's perspective. <laughs> We're the bad guys. <laughs> Am I the bad guy? Yeah. Am I? But regardless, anyway, we'll talk about this more later. I can teach you how to push kids. That'd be good. That's not what I meant. <laughs> As oh, well. you walk through the town, away from where Matson has disappeared, and you debate the morality of pushing over children who are much, much smaller and younger than you. Having filled in Nico on all that has transpired since they'd been gone, Drake, you and Artie find yourself leaving the Hawk Cave, walking through the cold outskirts of Eden Falls. Your footsteps echoing around off the tarmac beneath you. Nati, every so often, just has to double time his steps to just catch up with you and then continue walking again. And his hands are deep in his pockets, and even beneath his glasses, you can see that he has a furrowed expression, clearly deep in thought. What's up? Why do you think Magnus is trying to get you and Amelia out of town?
I don't know. I figured he had a vendetta against us, but maybe he knows something we don't know. I mean, he hates Dharma. That's, I mean, it's easy to see why, especially Clearly, after yeah. she shot him. But, um, you think your dad's going to take up the offer? I don't know. I, I need to talk to Delilah, because if it was Magnus, then I don't want him to take it. But if it was her, maybe it's a good thing. Or if I can get her to supervise his position, or I don't know, whatever. Keep Magnus away from him somehow. Well, I don't know if she has any pull over that old fogey. I mean, either way, if what Amelia is seeing is going to happen, um, I mean, it's a way for your family to get out. Yeah, definitely. At least for New Year's in New York. But you don't want to go with them? I don't want to leave everybody. Not when it's possibly life or death. Yeah, but what, what, um, what if it is the latter? Death. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I've been okay with that for a long time now. But if I can help someone else survive, then that's good. Right? I mean, you're staying. For Darla, I assume. And he looks out to the town. Yeah, I guess I, I hadn't really... um. I hadn't really questioned it. Um, I hadn't even thought about what my family will be. Um, take it. Um, take it from someone who's seen a family that's been really hurt by this. But um, no parent should ever have to lose a child. I, I mean, I, I've i seen what it did to <clears throat> Darla's dad, and um, I don't know if you have a chance to get out with your family. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like I, I want to not or see my dad go through that again or my sister go through it again. Um, but you know, I, don't know. I just can't abandon people. I think Dad would understand that too. Maybe I'll write him a note. I'm really Not glad I that kind of note, you. but yeah. Oh yeah, no, 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 obviously. Yeah. Um, okay, so um. What do we know? Um, what, 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 factually, what, are, what are the things we know? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not great with hypotheticals, but I'm good with facts. So, what, are, as it stands, we know what the potential outcome is, but what are the facts leading up to that? What, what are the things that we know for certain that can help? Um, well, we know the Logans have future Nico's tech. And are doing something with it. Sure. And that so it can maybe, maybe they're, see the f future or. Um, maybe, or they're like causing a sort of implosion of time again, like with the rifts. Okay. Um, Somehow and... they have hazmat suits that go back 100 years. And that 
was found underneath your log cabin in the wood. And yep. we know from talking to Nico now that the Logans might also be connected with these neurocasters that have been popping up across Eden Falls as well. Um, it's possible. Yeah. If I knew they were involved, I wouldn't have <sighs> had to buy one. I would have just gone to Delilah. <laughs> and maybe not have used it. I don't know. But I think it That's helped Amelia. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the thread? Um... <laughs> I don't know, that future is so crazy. All of Eden Falls destroyed. Giant monsters, black domes, or giant robot monsters, black dome. Well, at least we, and as you talk, you just hear a brr, brr, as a car just pulls on. And the window coming down, you see a familiar face in the window as leaning out. Do either of you two need a lift home? As Janice, the lunch lady, just leans out of the window. It's late and it's cold. Hey, Janice. Uh, oh, yeah, hey, buddy. Jake. How are you doing? <laughs> it's it's Drake. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, we're good. We're good. Oh, Party good, right? good. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. That, um, yeah, sure. If you, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll take a ride. It's pretty. It is chilly, you know. It's... Oh, lovely! Get in, get in, get in. Thanks. So, if you just point me in the direction of where you live, okay? I I can't hear you over the sound of the engine, my love. Artie, your house is uh closer, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, just, um, up, up here, it's, uh, around ten minutes that way, it just, um, right, right, and uh, then left. Okay! So you got any plans for Christmas? You know, just the usual, save the world, <laughs> fight the evil. <laughs> Doesn't it always feel that way when family comes around? Oh, yeah, you know it. Yeah. What about you? Are you doing anything? Oh, Making my any meals? son's coming around. Oh, he's coming all the way from New York. It's going to be lovely. I've missed him tremendously. Ooh. What's he doing in New York? Then, oh, he's a chef. It's one of the nice things. Whenever he comes back home, mama never needs to cook. Nice. That's good. You get a break. Absolutely. Not that I don't enjoy it, mind you. Keeping my boys well fed. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. I appreciate you. Right and left, you said? Uh, yeah, right and left. Okay. Well, here we are, Artie. And Artie just kind of looks at you. Um, you want to get out here or you you okay? Um, yeah, I'll get out here too. Uh, thanks, Janice. Oh, no way. I, it's no problem if you need to get home as well, my love. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to hang out with Artie for a little bit before... Study for oh. class, you know. Okay, okay, Jake. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, Dennis. I'll see you later. Okay, good boy, my love. And the car just begins to pull off as Artie stands outside of his home and sort of rocking on his feet a little bit, just... Well... Um... You want to come in? Or you gotta get home. Um, I should probably get home. I keep dodging my dad, so. But I had an idea. Um, you're pretty smart, so if you could look into who made the neurocasters, that might give us a lead. Uh, if they're with the Logans, against the Logans, whatever. Yeah. No, I I can um. I can look into it. I can, I can check out the warehouse that Nico mentioned. 
Um, yeah. I'm done to help any way I can too. I just, I don't know where to even start with that kind of information gathering. I don't know. I, I think you're smarter than you give yourself credit for. I think. Thanks. I try. Just, um, you know, the nice thing is about everything that's going on and what Amelia has told us, we have time to plan and think and figure out what we're doing. But I don't know, at the end of the day, um, and he looks at his house. Yeah, at the end of the day, um, we're also kids. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Nico has a point. Like, you know, I, I understand why he's reluctant to help. You know, he only just got back and his family were already in danger once. And, you know, from past experience, it's not, yeah, no. you know, you don't want to poke the Logans too hard. And, um, <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, uh, you know, talk with your dad, but uh, just, I wanted to talk to you as a friend, I guess. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. And I also agree, like, don't do anything you don't feel comfortable with. If you have an idea how to get your parents out of here and get away and save yourself from Darla, do it. I just, I know Amelia, she's not going to stop. So, I can't leave her alone. I guess... I know the thing I hadn't considered is... I, you know, I've been so focused on everyone... Of us. Um... Drake, what, what about... What about the other families? What about... You know, the people we don't know? What about... I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. No one's gonna believe us. <laughs> oh yeah, our friend can see the future. She saw the world blow up. I'm like that's not gonna. No one's gonna leave because of that. I guess we could yeah. manifest our own threat to scare everyone away, but then that's kind of crazy too. So between the two options, I think trying to save everybody is easier than trying to convince everybody. Hmm. But I don't know. Well, like I say, Amelia has at least bought us some time. You get home safe. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah. You get home safe too. It's, it's a long walk from the yeah. curb to your door yeah <laughs> um and you know i now live with darla so oh you know. yeah definitely be safe extra dangerous yeah <laughs> yeah okay you guys are good and, right uh yeah yeah um you know no 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 labels or um anything but okay okay what's that what what yeah. is that what and <laughs> There's nothing wrong with no labels. It's it's good. Let it flow. I'm sure you guys will be happy. You see the way she looks at you. With those, like, daggers in her eyes. Yeah, no, like she wants to stab me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's out of affection, though. It's a, it's a loving stab. Artie just stands on tiptoes and just, like, hugs you around your neck and just, like... I'm I'm here if you need to talk, you know. Yeah. Maybe I should get your phone number. I don't think I have your phone number. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, and he just takes out a scrap of paper and writes down his landline and gives it to you. And, um, you know, if you can, reach me by walkie-talkie. Um, there you go. Thanks. Yeah. Having friends is... It's nice. Different, but nice. Difference, good. Night. 
See you tomorrow. Um, he walks back to his door. And you see that rather than go through the front door, late as it is, you see him just hop over to a nearby tree and just scaling it with very familiar dexterity, just goes up to his window, props it open, and climbs through as you are left alone. With my thoughts. <laughs> Dala and Amelia. What does the rest of the night look for the two of you? Well, assuming that we were... I kind of like the idea that they're just being a little bit of a hooligan mentality and walking <laughs> around the town at night. Like, this is a new page for Amelia. Like, she's she's not paying attention to curfew. Who needs to sleep? Not worrying about homework. <laughs> she's got bigger problems to solve. I feel like Darla would be walking you home, but taking you every route that she could help you out with Michael, you know, down this alley back here. Um, Deborah of the diner, she would never know if suddenly there's like a kid dancing around some firecracker poppers. That's one way that it could go. Um, or I know that there is a, it's like an old building that's kind of broken down and you can be like, oh, there's a secret in there and you need to lock them in if you want. But I feel like what you could write a book on all of this. This is a very long list, and I didn't write any of them down. <laughs> Hold on, actually. And she's going to reach into her bag and pull out a small notepad and a pen to start. I should actually keep track of these. I have a terrible memory sometimes, unless I write it down. <laughs> what are you going to write down? <laughs> I guess it would be silly, because then it'd be evidence, huh? I mean, I don't care about that. You know how much evidence there is out there for me? And I'm still walking. What? Do you have like a whole folder? I don't know. Probably. That would make sense. <laughs> well, you're still walking. Heck, with all of, all of the things that have been going on around here, it, it's, you know, doesn't seem like there's a lot of consequences. The Logans seem to do what they want, so why not me? Uh, I will say we are very different. <laughs> the difference is they have power and money I feel like, you know. that would help a lot can you imagine if we had power and money <laughs> we could probably solve a lot of this a lot easier well I do have the money part <laughs> sure with uh, a magic credit card you found lying around right yeah mm -hmm. do you know how much money is probably on this if it's linked to anything of the Logans are you kidding me we could probably go buy like six say, airplanes. <laughs> as you are walking, you do pass a bank, and outside <laughs> are a number of ATMs. This was before there were cameras on ATMs, right? It is, yes. I've also okay. noticed we've just reached a supernatural event. <laughs> Ooh. You know, suddenly be my stomach's in Kali wobbles. Funny. I don't know what it is. I just. Owie. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man. Uh, yeah, anyway, I've never actually robbed a bank. Just a person, a house, a place. A, not, not, I haven't different. done that. Well, we could at least take a few dollars. Come on, you bought me a bike, but what would you buy for yourself? Put, put the card in, let's pull some cash out. Oh, I've never done something like this before. Okay. This feels very and illegal. And she does, she <laughs> takes it out of her bag, looks around at first, and then... Puts it in the ATM. <laughs> okay. Make a Ooh. program check for me. Me? Mm hmm. Little old you. Me? I believe in you. I don't. I'm so glad that you do that. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. One of us has to succeed. Yeah. Mm hmm. And it's not me. Not with those curses. Well, actually, hang on. I can do it. Haha. -ha, I have one success. Yes. Okay. How much money are you taking out? Does As it say the amount? Slides in. Um, I will say with a programming check. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will say it shows uh, an amount. Um, I'm trying to think of. <laughs> 
Oh, there are many checking inflation. accounts they probably have. <laughs> yeah, I would yeah. say several hundred thousand dollars are in here. I brought a backpack, if that helps. And she's going to bring over her side <laughs> bag. <Amelia. laughs> it's okay, I have some space in my bag still, too. And yeah, the highest amount, baby. Just want to start seeing these hundreds coming out. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out. I would like to be the watch <laughs> to make sure people don't come by. That was our first mistake. <laughs> I will say, as you input the amount and suddenly just... Just note after note after note after note comes out. You said you were keeping watch, Amelia? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You see... <laughs> Coming round the corner. Now activate our supernatural event. You see a cop car coming round the corner. And inside, you see the wide brimmed sheriff's hat of Sheriff Mitchell. And as you are looking, you see her eye just move towards where the two of you stand two children and you are children who have absolutely no business being near an atm and you see her pass over you and fix firmly on darla who is currently hunched next to the atm just like cr like crouching next to it a bag underneath it as note after note after note falls out and the car begins to get closer <sighs> We need to hurry a little bit faster. Um, Sheriff Mitchell's on her way. I can only, what? She Sheriff like stands Mitchell. up and is gathering the last bit of what she can and stuffing it in her bag. Where, where no, you, you do not, because oh, as no. you look around, there is, <laughs> and you just see that, because it is still coming out. It is a huge amount and it is water falling out. Just paper onto the pavement, just slowly begin to pile at your feet. As the cop car just comes to a stop and the we door should run. just opens. She knows who we are. Is there a chance? Darla she knows Oaks. who I am, but you should go! She says she's like pulling and like pushing you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Darla, Darla Oaks! Stay I where run. you are. You run. I'm <laughs> here. I stay. I'm so trusting you. Amelia, Amelia, make, a, make a move check, Amelia, real quick for me. Does she get like right an now. advantage because I'm waiting and letting her go. <laughs> it will lower the amount time. of successes she okay. requires. You only need one success rather than the two I was initially going to set. Come on, Amelia, okay. show me that. Come on, come on, come so on. I do have some pluses. Here. One success. No, you have so you... many. You have to get. <laughs> yeah. How oh, many? Wait, wait. How many? No, do I need to you use don't need two. Pluses? You don't need two. Okay. Okay. I don't want to be seen cool. at all. So if I need to level this up even more, I will. I will say as you run and you flick your head over your shoulder, you can see that Sheriff Mitchell is not even looking at you. She is firmly looking in Darla's direction. And Darla, as this figure moves towards you, face shadowed underneath this wide brimmed hat she wears and you can see her breath hanging in the air as she walks towards you. And underneath one of her sleeves, you also see clutched around the flashlight that she is now activating in your direction you see the metal hand as her robotic arm just whirs as she starts walking towards you and behind you there is just <laughs> as paper just continues to fall and it is piling behind you well what do we have here a broken machine i was trying to fix it you want to show me what's in that bag of yours Uh, I'm not gonna lie, no, I don't actually want to show you what's in this bag. Because it's my personal how property. About I, how about it's I all I have left, you. Sheriff Mitchell. Make a... A contact or a charm check, whichever okay. you would... That is the smartest <laughs> play. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You need two successes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. 
I will share blesses. What do you need? <laughs> I will use almost all of my blesses to get two. Oh, <laughs> I have two successes. As you say this, you see something that certainly directed at you you have never seen. As Sheriff Mitchell's eyes just fall and soften a little bit, her jaw unclenching, and the flashlight just lowers ever so slightly. Yeah, I'm just trying to fix this thing. Because I just saw it going off and I figured it wouldn't be good. Right? I'm trying to do better, turn my life around. Wrong place, wrong time. Uh, every time, right? I'm innocent. She flicks the flashlight off and holstering it, just walks over to where you are and looks at the screen where you can see the amount slowly depleting and you can see a name just at the top, Stuart Matson, next to an account number in sword code. Do you know who that guy is? I don't know whose name that is. I just like popped up and I was trying to figure it out so that if I had to, I could return their money to them. So you don't know the name of the man that you shot back in March and handed over to police custody? Oh, no, that was a whirlwind of a time. You know, he had Jane, like they had our friend. I was focused on that. And at that point, it was just like, go, go, go. My my eyes, I was seeing red and I just had to get Jane back, you know? I'm sure you felt that way as a... Oh. Right? She looks down at the pile of money as <laughs> Yes, I know how it is. Oh, perfect. Uh, we can you want to donate this to charity? There's a lot of, there's like veteran organizations out there that you can donate to with this money instead of giving it back to the rich. Cause you know, why? Well, they don't need it, right? I'm assuming he's rich. He looked rich. How much of this charitable donation is in your bag, Miss Oaks? N uh, none is, I uh, my, I don't know. Speaking frankly, Darla. And at this point, the machine. Oh. I've never been a fan of the Logans, personally. Good, I'm glad that we are on the same team. I didn't actually expect that. Wait, why? Why don't you like them? I wouldn't say we're on the same team, but I don't like rich assholes who feel that they are above the law. That's the same team to me. I'm not rich. Or above yeah. the law. Neither am I. I just somehow get through. So, what are you doing tonight? How are you? How's it going? Patrolling. You caught well, any bad good. guys I, recently? Well, I uh, was about to call in a crime in process, but then. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a good thing this isn't a crime. I guess so. Yeah, it's a, I'm trying to be helpful to you. Oh, hey, you want to take all this money and we give it back to the bank? I, that way I don't do it myself. How about you help me pick this up? I give you a ride home, wherever you're staying. Mm. I never liked playing 52 card pickup, this is worse. She says, just kind of grumbling picking out, like taking off her bag and just setting on the ground and starting to scoop. Okay, I'll help. Well, at least that means you're probably unlikely to become a gambler as an adult. What do you mean by gambling? Is that only a financial gain? Cause like gambling with my life has been my favorite. Would you like to know How many times your name comes up in the precinct? Hopefully at least twice. My officers refer to you as Mitchell's Bane. 
the way, that's kind of sick. I like that better than Nightmare. Mm. That's what other people call me, allegedly. Bane's kind of cool. How's your, how's your father doing? Mm, he's alive. That's good. <sighs> we'll see how and long it takes. Staying with that poor accomplice of yours, Arthur King. Okay, hang on. You can compliment him better than that. He has somehow kept me from doing worse. That's a, that's a good thing. In the business, we call that a willing accomplice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Knowing already, I don't think he's very willing most of the time. <laughs> I just don't give him a choice. I mean, he has... I. But yeah, my dad's doing good. He'll be out hopefully soon. We'll see. She's like trying to compile all these things. And you know whenever you pick up, just like with cards or papers, and they're all askew, and you're trying your best to put them all together, but like just keep turning, and she's getting frustrated, and just like shoving them over toward uh, Sheriff Mitchell a little bit closer. Here, I can't do that one. There we go. And expertly, as someone who has clearly done this quite a lot, just sort of shuffles everything, and all right, come on. Help me take it over to the car. I'll drive you back to the kings. Okay. <laughs> she does. With that contest. I hope you know I've never had any sort of vendetta against you, but you do make it very hard for me to do my job on some days. I think I make your job more entertaining. You'd probably just be sitting there, bored, nothing to do. But I give you thrill. Surprised. No, I picked Eden Falls as a place to be placed because I was hoping for a nice sleepy time of it. Yeah, so just go to sleep. I'm not doing anything. That's what you mean, right? I haven't Eden's killed anybody. Anything about <laughs> She's thinking about meth and just sure. like, I think. <laughs> Only shot someone, I suppose. That's right, some one person. One. Just one. And it was in defense to save a friend. You planning on doing it again? Nope, never. I would never do crime. Hate crime. Allergic to it, actually. Break out in hives. Ugh. You think I don't see the shape of a revolver under clothing? I don't know where that came from. That's that's really odd, huh? To, I think I found it at some point. I thought it was a toy. How about you give that to me? N no, this one I, I can keep. You can give it to me, and I will give it to Arthur King's parents. No, don't do that. Uh, his parents are too good. They don't need to know things like that. Can I please keep just this one? If I didn't have it last time, then I wouldn't have been able to protect my friends, right? Make a three success. <laughs> oh, Charm <shoot>. or lead <laughs> check. As you can see mm. that Sheriff Mitchell's hand is on the ignition of the car, but <laughs> she is not starting yet. <laughs> oh, if, with all those blessings I don't have. Um. She firmly just holds out. Wait, wait, wait. There's, uh -huh. there's some luck in a reroll, right? Dang it! Sure. <laughs> Zero. Darla, it's not a toy. I know it's not. Which is why it's not in my hand. Darla, are you scared of something? Mm. Depends. I don't like spiders. They kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. Big open waters, so yeah, those also are not my favorite. Why do you ask? Because the moment that the sun rises tomorrow, we'll be dancing our old dance, you'll be misbehaving, I will be reprimanding you, this is a rare moment where we can speak openly. Why are you carrying a gun? Uh... So. 
Like I told you, self-defense. You know how you don't like the Logans? Yeah, I don't either. Alright, Mitch, you're not my favorite. But if I can be real with you. Actually, let me ask you a question. Uh, what do you think happened to mine in Sparrow's house? Why do you think it happened? This feels like a leading question, but I will entertain it. I want you to answer honestly. If you're honest, I'll be honest. Official reports say that it was breaker unit failure, but they also teach us in the trade not to believe in coincidence. And the coincidence that you and Eli Sparrow helped put away Magnus Logan's son in March, and then the two of you both befall the same accident. No, I, uh... But there's no way for me to prove that. Is there? Mm, no, there's not. Because even I can't prove it. I hope you're not trying to. I am. So did I, be honest. Well, while we are being honest with one another, I've never really liked you. Thank you. But. That's flattering. It's also, it's also my job to look out for you. So. Mm, it doesn't have to be. You just let me go free with this gun. What if I told you it belonged to Magnus, Logan? You say you didn't like him. And I would have to ask you why you are carrying someone else's property. Look at it this way. He theft. took all of my property. This is one thing. Make one more lead check. Or charm. Okay. Two, two successes <clears throat> are what you require. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that would be so many buses. Uh, I have four. No, it would take five. <laughs> oh, dang it. Because I have to get past two successes to get another one. I can give you some. I have 17. <laughs> Together. You really want this gun. <laughs> Together. This is one of the few weapons what? we have. <laughs> we have that and my sword. So, you know, close range, yep. long range. We can just. Yep. Yeah, can I take, take five of those blesses? <laughs> yeah, sure. Breakfast I'll give club you. Together. I'll give you all five. <laughs> Freeze ram. Die hard version. I, I'm good with twelve. Okay. Yeah, I I succeed, baby. <laughs> with the power of friendship. She looks at you and, like I say, tomorrow is a new day. If I catch you with it on any other day, I will confiscate it. But for tonight. If you don't mention the fact that you tried to break into Stuart Matson's private bank account. I didn't do anything. Well, there we go. We understand one another. Always. That's why you're my favorite. So can I also just like walk back to the place or do I have to? She just starts the car and begins to drive All right. in the direction of Arthur's <laughs> house. As eventually you arrive and you stop outside. As just coming to a standstill, she opens the door. And, you know, I think this is the first time you've not been sat in the back of this car. Yeah, you know, I don't know if anybody else has ever told you, but the passenger side is a lot comfier. There's something wrong with that. You should make the back come for you, too. Mm, I don't think I'm going to do that, young lady. I'm just saying, you know, as somebody who's never been there before, I feel for other people. Mm. 
I'm a, I'm a person for the people. She's just kind of sliding <laughs> out of the car. <laughs> Good night, Miss Oaks. And if I don't see you beforehand, which for your sake, I hope. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. And she kind of scurries away a little bit faster than usual um, and waits until she leaves to then go to the tree at the side. The car disappears around the corner. Whew. And you climb on up where you can see that Artie is still dressed, sort of sitting on the edge of his bed, just knees bobbing up and down. <laughs> he sees a bag fly in first. Oh my god, <laughs> hey, are you are you okay? Where's where's yes. where's Madison? Also hi and um uh and he sort of goes in for a hug and like just kisses you on the top of the head and then Aww, she gives him actually a hug. And then oh, she pulls away oh. and is like, okay, hang on. And she pulls up her bag and just dumps everything out, which includes like the hazmat suit, this lacy bookmark, all of this money. Um, and her walkie-talkie and any other, like, scattered bits that she had in there. Look at this! Oh my god, you stole. Okay, um, okay, okay what are we gonna Not do? We can, we can, put, we can put this in my mattress, it can, it's, Wait, wait, um... wait, 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 wait! Sheriff Mitchell gave me a ride home. She let me steal. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, <laughs> um, it's all good. Amelia's home safe. I have this. <laughs> Um, and now Matson's broke and missing, but he's broke. <sighs> okay. Um, well, uh, I, 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 I talked to Drake and, um, oh. Dr Drake's asked me to look into the Neurocaster stuff. We also talked to Nico. We told him everything. He told us everything. Um, okay. He, uh, yeah, he, he, he saw that, um, the Logans might have something to do with all the Neurocasters that are coming into town. That they're, they're being dropped off at a warehouse, kind of near the outskirts. Um, what? And so yeah, we're not going to use those, right? That sounds bad. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming not anymore. But uh, I, I've said I'm going to look into it, and um, yeah, we we don't we don't know what's going on. We don't know what the connecting threads are. But um, I don't I don't know if. Nico just got back, and understandably, I doesn't want to get, you know, doesn't want another Halloween, you know. That's fine. Yeah. I told you last time that we met him that he's too soft. So good. <laughs> or too sensible, too clever, I don't know. I mean, sure, why not all of the above? But, um, how are you? You, you. Okay? <laughs> I'm great! She's like just looking at this hall. But yeah. Are you um, good? Are you okay? You look worried. Yeah, just um talking with uh I don't know, talking with Drake kind of made me realize we've maybe not been looking at the big picture. It's not just um you know, it's not just a town, it's not just a building. It's not just our school. It's not just houses that are. It's people. P people are in danger. Um, if when we can't Wait, why stop do you it, think but, that? Well, if what Amelia saw is true, then um, did she see I, dead? I, I don't know. People? I didn't see the vision. Well, no. But, well, she saw a town. She saw our, our town going up. You know what? What is? What if everyone's caught in the blast? What if, you know? Whoa! Wait, what, hang what, on. There's what, an, there's a blast. Well, yeah. There's like a dome of dark energy, and I, I, if if we can't stop it, what's what's the plan? Because there are a lot of people in in danger, and not just people we know, people we don't know. And I, I guess I I I've been so focused on trying to solve it, I hadn't really thought about. I don't really been thinking about. Um, yeah. I don't really been thinking about you. Um, Stop that. I can. <laughs> um, okay, but you can. I already had a talk with Amelia about this stuff. Like, what are you gonna do if you can't change it? 
We're just kids. We don't have magic I powers. That's... I have a gun and some money. Yeah. But I guess that's what I'm worried about. We, we, what if we are just kids? We can't stop it. What, what then? Then let that be the truth. If you think that everyone's gonna die, then let's just leave. Convince your parents. What about an entire town, Darla? You can't put that on your shoulders, Artie. Yeah, but I can't. No, you can't just... put that on your shoulders. I can't. No, I can't walk away from that either. Um, and I, I know Then tell you somebody can. and let them take it on their shoulders. <laughs> so if thousands of people die, you're going to take fault for that? No, that's stupid. And that's wrong. You almost lost your dad. Yeah, I know. Which is why I'm saying, what can we do other than protect what we have still? I just, I, I, I don't, I don't want people to lose what you've lost, Dara, um, or what Drake has lost, or, uh, you know, I, I don't want Amelia to lose those things. I don't want anyone else to lose that. You know, there are people I, I bump into every day at school who I, I barely know, but, you know. So you're going to put all their lives on your shoulders? No, I'm just saying, what's our backup plan? I mean, we, we don't even know how all of this connects. So, you know, we've either got to figure it out or we've got to... I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just... No, it's fine. Um... Amelia has ideas. Either for the loop or to try to go and see that door again. Anyway, and she's going to be scooping, like, everything back into her bag... And actually just leaving her bag, like, pushed up against one of his, um, like, dressers or the desk. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Look, we'll talk I, tomorrow. I, I, I... It's fine, Artie. It's a long night. We'll talk with everybody tomorrow. Stop overthinking. Do you want me to... Okay. Do you want the bed? I'll, um, I, I can sleep on the floor or, um... No. I'm gonna go sit downstairs for a little bit. I'm not tired yet. Okay. <sighs> Get out of your head. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Um... Okay, good night. Good night. She leaves, quietly shutting the door behind her. She does. She just goes downstairs and sits on the couch for a little bit until she probably passes out for the night. Amelia. Mm-hmm. You run. Yep. <laughs> and no cop cars seem to come after you. Thank goodness. <laughs> Eventually, it is just the sound of your feet upon the tarmac. I'm probably very heavy breathing. Not athletic. This is exhausting and a terrible choice. And my shoes are already, as we mentioned, a poor choice. So this was all around an awful idea. As she kind of runs and then walks and then occasionally runs again. And God, breathing. I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just, I'm just gonna breathe. I'm, I'll walk at least to the that tree down there, and then I'll start running again. Well, maybe the next tree. Uh, as she tries to make it through, where do I go? Artie's? No. Uh, so she'll probably have to end up. Or oh, now I don't want to go to the hospital. Uh, home? But what if they saw me? And they'll go to my home. But if I'm not there, that'll incriminate me. I should go home. I should probably go home. Oh, okay. All right. And a slightly disoriented, especially since we had taken the long way around to my home anyway. Just exhausted and slowly makes her way home, trying to be sneaky, clearly feeling absolute shame and embarrassment that she agreed to steal money. And not just a little bit, but all of it. 
from an account. You you use the word, so I'm I'm afraid this is squarely on your shoulders, Becca. Uh, That's can fair. you make a sneak check for me, please, mm -hmm. as you enter your home? Also, yep. Ed, how much monies do we each have? Because there's some in my um, bag and some in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> I make a uh, make a program check. The amount of successes you have are the amount of. Is the amount of thousands you have. Oh, uh, if, but mine's if, bad. <laughs> if, if, you, if you don't get a success, you will have at least 500. Okay. Okay. All my 12 blesses are going to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. This, dear viewers, is why you do not... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love this actually. Uh, how, how much? How much have you got? <laughs> it, well, it's probably gonna be a zero because I would have to use nine. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> Just to get one success. So I got five, honey. <laughs> Mine came out in one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Dala has five hundred dollars, and you have one thousand dollars, Becca. Let me roll my program. Oh. How many blesses will it take to bump that up at least to oh, one? One. So three. Oh, I mean, but if you do four blesses, then you can get two thousand dollars. I'm gonna use all four of my blesses <laughs> to get that how two thousand dollars. How much for three? Oh, I'm that gonna... would be eight in total, so three more. Okay. I'll give you three more. <laughs> three thousand. <laughs> this is gonna cover the neurocast. This is a right? lot in the eighties, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll get my yeah. money back. <laughs> Amelia Oliver, you have three thousand dollars in. I your just, bag. I want to, I want to let chat know. Remember, your best. But how much does a bless cost? Uh, five dollars. Yeah, those blesses just gave us three thousand dollars. This is a great conversion rate. Nowhere else, nowhere else, can you turn a couple, a couple of five dollar blesses into thousands of dollars. Yeah, and soup. this is reverse inflation. This is deflation. We're deflating the market. This is, this is perfect. I love escapism, don't you? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so zero blesses now. Three thousand dollars, though. Okay. And let me roll so that if, sneak attack for you. If you could roll sneak, yeah. Not sneak attack, sorry. I'm not attacking anyone in my home. It's a zero. That's fine. I'm going to lean into that. That I can deal with. I will say, as you creep into your house, and as you look into your bag, just sort of like taking in, for the first time, the sheer amount that is in there, the light just turns on and you are just frozen in the front door as a single solitary note just drifts down onto the carpet and you just see stood over at the door your father in a dressing gown arms crossed I hope you're not making a habit of sneaking in late oh does it count as sneaking if I got caught? Because I didn't really do the sneaking part. <clears throat> have, you at least had, have you at least had dinner? No. Is there some left? There is. Come on. Come on in. Thank you. I'm starving. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to miss dinner. It just, things got really out of hand. And then just, uh, I was hanging out with my friend. Having having a really good bond, and we were walking and talking, and it was really nice. And uh, uh, nothing bad happened. Make a contact check for me. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that last. You need you need two successes. Your father knows you fairly well. Okay. Oh, I just saw in the incentives. Y'all have given me some more blesses. Y'all are way too nice. Gosh. Cool, 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 cool. Zero successes. Um, is it all or nothing for the two? I'm going to lean is, into yeah. it. Okay, we'll lean into it. I'll go ahead and fail this one. He looks at you and then over at the solitary note that lies on the floor. And it is a hundred dollar bill just lying on the floor. And 
Where did you get that? Probably not from selling Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Amelia, what's happening? Um. Well, what's happening is... I really kind of care about our town. I don't... Oh... You know how I got that letter? You know, go go visit the university and all that jazz. I hope this isn't an attempt to sabotage that, because there are easier ways of just saying no, darling. I don't want to sabotage it. I just don't... I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I see. I... I know... It still feels like we've just moved here, but it also feels like home. June seems like she's at home. I don't think I could distract you with uh, the fact that a boy is very interested in her. We, we could talk about that. His name is Michael. I think for now, darling. And he just brings over a small bowl of stew and places it before you. I would much rather talk about what is going on with you. This is the second night this week that you have come in late. But Michael takes fighting classes. That pretty sure makes him very dangerous. As I understand it from what June has said, that very pretty teacher of his is a friend of yours. Ah, uh, yes, fine. Okay, so it wasn't a very good excuse, but... Darling, what are you hiding from us? It's not... And you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I just... You seem distracted lately, and... I understand... With everything that's happened with your friend Darla... And her house, and... Right. Like you say, this is home, and word spreads around one home and you know two houses blowing up same time well yes but more than that my darling you know, just over a month ago earthquakes blackouts I mean we need to know where you are you understand that, don't you? We, we, we need to. We need to know you're safe. Right. Um. And you're sneaking in, and a hundred dollar bills are falling out of your out of your bag. That, well, that was not as thought out. That, oddly enough, is a bit of a red herring of the dollar bills. Um, bills. Amelia Oliver, what is in that bag of yours? Nothing, I'm saying, uh, uh, just a few, um... A few hundred dollar bills? Just, uh, if, 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 yes, yes, yes. I'm not going to demand it, uh, uh, it's not my... I hope you know that's not my parenting style, but I, I am giving you the opportunity to show me your bag. If you would like to. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh huh. And Amelia will very, very slowly go to grab her bag. This is all part of a. Well, this isn't. This is actually just a side story. Um. Do you want the side story or the big story first? Why don't you show me the bag and we'll go from there. Right, the side story. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, I, I owe my friend Drake a few dollars. So some of it I was going to give to him. 
but we could also use some of it for the health bills that have been stacking up, much like those letters at the end of the counter. Amelia, where did you get this money? Well, it came from a, a bank and the ATM uh, from the bank and we I she fumbles over her words I found a credit card and I tried it out and it turns out um that it was somebody who had already offered me a lot of help anyway because they liked some of the research and they're also the ones who helped make sure that I got the university letter so um, they are quite comfortable with me accepting financial aid from them in fact they even brought me into the limo once, after the whole lighting of the tree. I don't know if you remember seeing the limo there. Um, I was in it, and I, I got to talk to Mr. Logan in there. And he, he told me I could, if I needed anything at all, no matter what, that he would give it to me and at the time i had said no because i don't i don't need handouts we we have always stood on our own um and then i got the letter and i had not applied um but apparently the logans had visited the school principal for a hot second um and so when i found the card i was thinking well uh, admittedly i was thinking very stupidly at first, but then when I was carrying it home with me, it could be really good. And it would be foolish, even stupider, more stupid? No, it would be a poor choice for me to reject somebody's help when we could use it. I'll return the card. Make a contact check for me. You need three successes. Kind of like half line here. <laughs> I'm going to have to use some of these pluses. Okay. I have one success. How many to make it two more? It looks like you just need five more. Do you have five? I do. I will use that. I don't I can't believe I'm trying to support this lie. Well... It's taking care of your family, too. You're... Yeah. Yeah. Your father just looking across the kitchen tabletop at you. He is sat, but his arms have been folded this entire time. And just leaning forward, he reaches out. And he just places his palm atop your hand. I'm not going to pretend I fully understood everything you just said. Right. But. We will return that card to who it belongs to. Mm-hmm. You said it was the Logans? Yes. I promise. I'll go next thing tomorrow morning, even before school. I'll wake up early. I'll head on over there. Uh, I'll return it face to face. But um, I promise it'll be okay. I think I should like to drive you, if that's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Okay. No, no, I get it. I I did I did steal. So, not exactly to be trusted in this moment. 
It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that. It sounds as though... Darling, it sounds as though you are... You have the weight of the world upon your shoulders. And... <laughs> Sorry. I just don't want... you to worry about things that aren't yours to worry about. I understand that you're concerned for June, and I understand you're concerned about your mother and I, but... Mm -hmm. We have everything well in hand. It's... <sighs> It's... it is a little bit more... You, you're kind of aware. Uh, so... Oh, I kind of picked up an extra job with the Logans. Uh, they think like research internship, which is why they were such big advocates for my uh, university attendance. Uh, we've been studying the earthquakes and whatnot, uh, geological occurrences. They were, of course, impressed with my uh, intensive research capabilities. So, um, it's just, you are not wrong in thinking that a little bit of the weight of the world is on my shoulders because it's, it's like all the research I've done is very important, but, but only I know it and I can't quite piece it all together. Um, small, small research team. As you know um and and i'm really worried the earthquakes are going to get worse for this town and other disasters so i'm helping them to figure some of that out that's the bigger story i, I thought an internship would look really good on my resume Just so long as you're looking after yourself, that's all I can ask. Right. It's a lot. And honestly, this research is by more far more you know, important than, than what I can possibly be doing in school and writing book reports about books that have been reviewed a million times over. But this, this is new and I could really help. And it's taken a small bit of priority. They really won't mind, I promise, if you keep a couple of the, the bills. In fact, uh, if I talk to Delilah, I assume she'd insist upon it. I've ridden in her limo too. It's, it's also very nice. He just nods and... Amelia, I, I trust you. Oh. Thank you. I, 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 I do, and I just, you know, I, I just want you to look out for yourself. All right? We'll drop off the credit card with your beneficiaries tomorrow, and um, right. then I'll drive you to school. All right? Uh, what about the newspaper run? Uh, June can't quite do it on her own. I'm sure your mother won't mind. Right. I could call Drake. Maybe he'd help. I imagine, from what June has said of Michael's instructor, that she would be most happy with that arrangement. She's talked about... Oh my gosh, she said everything, hasn't she? Right. Let me just uh, give him a, a quick call then. Hopefully he's home. And then to I bed. Love you. Right, right. Then to bed. I love you, though. I love you too, sweetie. Thank you for letting me choose what to share. Always. She just leans forward and just kisses you on the forehead and don't think I didn't hear that uh, we were at the bank. Oh. Right. Right. Okay. He just smiles to himself and <laughs> heads on up the stairs, leaving you alone in your kitchen. I'll head over to the phone. I assume I know Drake's number. 
and pick up the phone and start dialing. Drake, as you enter your home, almost as soon as your foot hits the welcome mat, you just hear through the very dark and very quiet house. It is very, very late. Suddenly just a <laughs> from the nearby Shh. landline. It's going to rush to the phone to like shut it up as quick as possible so no one wakes up. Hello? Right? Hello? Amelia? Oh, thank Why are you calling so late? Well, I just kind of got home. Uh, you just got home? Yes. What happened? Um, well, uh, oh gosh, how do I say this? First of all, you know, we were going to go visit a friend in the woods, uh, Dala and I. Yeah. Mm-hmm, not there. Turns out friend didn't show up. Um, so they're not- That's they're not, not good. No, no, slightly concerned. So please be unaware and okay. take care of yourself. Um, we don't want to lose any more friends. Um... And then we stop by the ATM. Okay. Um, I didn't know you had an account. I don't. Um, I don't. Anyway, I'm in trouble. Um, I can explain. Why? What happened? Uh, um, well, I don't quite know. I don't know where Dollar's at. She was a real hero in the moment and told me to run. And so I ran, but she didn't run with me. She... she... Did she get caught? Did she... Did that the guy come after you? The sheriff, actually. Not the just sheriff? The, the sheriff. Okay, um, give, give me one second. Hold on. I'm going to pull out the walkie-talkie and then be like... Call Artie <laughs> while Amelia's on the phone. Artie! Artie, are you there? Artie? Artie? Hey, hey, what, what's what, what's up, Yoka? Hey, uh, Darla got caught by the sheriff. Is do you know where she is? Is she at the the, the precinct, whatever? Uh, jail. No, she's um, she she's she's here. She 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 made it back. Um, she's downstairs. Just putting the phone and the walkie-talkie next to each other so that Amelia can hear everything too. Is she safe? It's the first three-way call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she. Yeah, she's. Um, she. She's safe. She. She's. She's downstairs. Um, she's. She's good. She's good though. She's. She's good. Yeah, she's good. <clears throat> good. Good. <sighs> good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No, you're, uh, okay. I, yeah, I guess you can go back to sleep. Um, yeah. Uh, make sure she doesn't go to jail, cause. Yeah. Yeah, that would suck. Although. Trick, uh, trick, yeah, trick, yeah, nah. Don't hang up yet. I have. I have another request. Okay. So tomorrow I need to go return the money I took from the ATM. You, you took money from the ATM? Right. Well, I guess that's what you do at an ATM, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Why would you return it? Um, Because uh, it's the right thing. And also my dad caught me. You, what'd you tell him? Um, enough that uh, they offered, but I should probably return it because I didn't ask first. And I told him about the internship I have with them, too. Um, oh, okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I need to go in the morning to return the money. Uh, would oh, you perfect. be able to help June out with the newspaper route? You can use my bike and everything. It's still rather new. No scratches on it. And honestly, I'd feel much more appreciative about it knowing that, you know, a friend's still out there. And, you know, that June's safe, knowing I'm, with someone of all the details. I, I mean, do, do you want us to, do you want us to come with you? Um, we, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it'd give us potentially another opportunity to see or get a closer look at what we saw last time, especially if there's a legitimate reason for you to be there. Right. Actually, the more the merrier might be better. Yeah. Just keep an eye out, June. I'm going to be dropped off at the school, and so I'll be able to see you all there after okay. my morning meeting. Yeah, that's that's fine. I can handle June. Thanks. I was going to go to the Logans tomorrow after school, so maybe Perfect. we can just double team them. You go in the morning, I'll go after school, and see what happens. 
that are going to love us. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Um, you can you can tell Darla the plan tomorrow then. Me? Why? Why not you? I no. I mean, I I I, I can as well, but um, you know, you, I I don't know. Um, just keep things in the loop, yeah. So she, to speak. she probably shouldn't go. So I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'll tell her. Good luck stopping her, but okay. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I'll see everyone tomorrow then, I guess. Yep. See you at school, I guess. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Bye. Uh, good luck. <clears throat> thanks. And then I'll... What time do you want me at your house? Oh, early morning, 6 a.m. Hope that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it's a like flashlight. It's like 2 a.m. right now, right? Dock up. <laughs> yeah, yep. yep. Cool. Uh, four hours. That's yeah, that's great. That, yeah, no, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As I really appreciate it. Thank you. Anytime, anytime. As you hang up and make this plan, Dala, by this point, you are dead to the world. And so, what you do not see is just Artie creep downstairs and start to head over to the sofa as he reaches out a hand before thinking better of it and just steps back and just heads on upstairs and closes the door and that is where we're going to take our break we'll be back in around five or ten minutes i was not expecting a bank robbery it was like an atm robbery it's different oh and okay. now no, 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 the no, sheriff is, is in that is on different. it so like it's legal <laughs> yep right yeah. that's how it works the law yeah. says okay <laughs> We played Just remember, chat, you are the reason that June <laughs> can now afford her medical bills. Thank you. Y'all saved her. You <laughs> saved, saved the the June. Kid. Well, yeah, we'll be back in about uh, five to ten minutes, take a break, and then we'll come back and see uh, what cry what cool things we get into. Legal what about things. Uh, what's, what's your favorite ice cream? <laughs> Which one's your favorite? <laughs> anyway, we'll be back. Uh, Let's say, not sure why a car isn't starting. Can it's the morning. <laughs> things are going by? It's natural. Well, sp speaking of, can everyone just make a straight body check? We're going to see who wakes first, and therefore who we will begin with. Okay. Of course, I'd get. Two natural successes. Drake. I wanted to sleep. <laughs> Waking just never up slept. in the morning. What is your routine and where are you headed? I'm going to cut my routine a little short because I'm going to say that I woke up a little late. But woke up, did like half the normal push-ups I would normally do. Half the normal ups run in the shower wash off real quick run back in my room grab my bag throw in my like snacks for the day my extra pair of underwear um you know the usual stuff run out i had a piece of toast that i just threw in the toaster on brushing my teeth in the other room and then as it pops out grab it head out for the day forget completely that my dad and sister are even home because I'm so used to just being alone all the time that I'm just making noise because I don't even like realize that they're probably still sleeping because it's only like 5.50 a.m. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll just head outside and start jogging towards Amelia's house. As you run on over... Robotically. Uh, 
<laughs> Tom Cruise-esque, just sprinting <laughs> through the streets. Eventually coming round the corner, you see that outside the driveway, you see the car with its doors open, and you see not only Amelia and her father, but you also see June next to a stack of papers just outside of the shed uh, that uh, you are familiar with from back in October. And you see, uh, as Amelia's father is sort of warming up the car, just looks up over the car roof and, ah, Mr. Lee, good morning. Hello, sir. Uh, uh, good morning to you, too. I also see we've just reached two supernatural events, so we will get back to that in just a moment. Um, thank you, wonderful viewers. As uh, Mr. Uh, as Mr. Oliver just... Um, <laughs> Amelia tells me that you are going to be escorting our uh, lovely June here today on the paper run. Yeah, uh, it should be fun. Right, June? Yes, um... Uh, I might need your help to carry um, all of the um, all the papers. And you see her just kind of like shuffle back a little bit behind Amelia's skirt and just very, very bashful. <clears throat> oh yeah, don't worry. I got it. I, I can get them off. You got it. Okay. And she heads over to her bike and... All right, Amelia. Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Thank you, Drake. No problem. Um, I'm gonna like scoot over to Amelia and be just like whisper in her ear and just be safe, okay? Wish me luck. Good luck. And I'll yeah, sorry. have a good trip. Mm. Sorry. Uh, see you guys. I'll see you at school. Yes. If I'm a little Kidding. late, take notes for me. Oh yeah, don't worry. I got you. As Amelia, you get in the car and you drive away, and Drake, as you and June head off on the paper route, Dala. Usually a supernatural event happens when one of you is conscious and aware. You miss what happens next. As over your walkie-talkie, there is the sound of struggling. Dollar! 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 They've come! They, they've come! They, they've come! They've... They've come! They've... Everything goes quiet. And you don't hear anything as Mr. Jenkins screams out. It is around half an hour before you just feel a soft sort of shuffle on your shoulder as hey, um Dorla? Yeah, yeah. Morning. Um, hi. Mm. Uh, She's Mom starting to sit up. Sorry, sleeping on the couch. I thought I got out. No, so, no, it's okay. Um, oh. you uh, you want breakfast? Um, because mum made some. Yeah. What time is it? Um, it's around an hour till school. I figured you might wanna um, I don't know um, shower. Uh, the bathroom's free if yeah. you need it. Yeah, that's. That'd be great. Um. Oh, uh, wait. The do you have any uh, extra clothes? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can feel free to um steal any of mine. Just you know, roll up the trousers. And, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I'll uh I'll play it up. Um, also, uh, Drake got in contact. Um. Last night, um, Amelia is apparently going to see the Logans this what? morning. Um, what? What? Yeah. That, she's no, skipping I, school I, again? Apparent... Which is weirder no, than no, no, seeing no, the no. Logans in my... <laughs> no, uh, apparently, um, no. Uh, she's she's going before school. She'll see us there, and Drake wants to go and 
take a look at the Logans after school and um any, anyway um Wait, I, I why did y'all come to this conclusion? How late well, were you uh, up? I don't know. Um, I I didn't sleep till um till late. Um, but it's okay. Mm. I'll um I'll get breakfast ready for you, and uh, you just um yeah help yourself to clothes and stuff. Okay. Um. She's gonna stand up, and she's just gonna hug him. I'm sorry, by the way. It's okay. I'm. I'm just. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I snapped at you. I just. <laughs> I didn't take it that way. Oh, okay. Good. Your snap I, is very gentle. I, I thought I snapped at you, okay. <laughs> which is a lot no, more aggressive. No. No. I just. I. I was worried. I. I was. I don't know. I was worried. I annoyed you or. Um, no. Said I appreciate you have voicing things to me. It means a lot. I take it as you trust me, because you feel comfortable enough. Right? Yeah, or am I, I getting I that wrong? Are you uncomfortable? No, 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 you're, okay. you're, you're right. Ugh. You're right. But, um, yeah, Good. I just, um, this just feels a bit bigger, um, than before, yeah. and I just... Well, especially considering lives are at risk, she whispers this, like, closer to him, not to be as loud. Like his parents. Yeah, I I just, you know, I, I want us to make sure we're all on the same page and we're all not that we're not, but that we're looking out for each other, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um Okay, go grab some of my clothes. They'll be way too big for you, but I've got belts. You can like roll stuff up. It's it's all good. <laughs> I'll figure it out, and then I'll toss all of this in the wash. Um, okay. I'll be done in a little bit. Thank you. Mm. Okay. And he heads over to the kitchen and starts to prepare breakfast. As you grab some new clothes, are you grabbing anything else before... Artie is so Isn't cute. Dead. I can't handle it. It, like, it makes like Sam's heart flutter. I'm like this little guy. <laughs> um, yeah, no, she would rummage through his perfectly neatly aligned clothes. They're color coordinated. He's got his very specific short sleeve shirts in one drawer, but they're plain. And then he's got ones that have like school logos and spirit shirts and um, other designs of other short sleeve shirts in another drawer. And then he's got his plain long sleeve shirts, maybe long sleeve shirts with turtlenecks on one side and other ones that are just long sleeve with a normal crew neck. And then he's got his pattern ones separate as well. And then he goes into his, his jeans and and it's sorted between colors of those jeans. What's the wash of them? And maybe the fit, as well as a different drawer that has like slacks and khakis and his more nice formal wear. And since he doesn't wear those ones as often, as well as shorts, he's kind of got his shorts in the same drawer, just pushed off to the side. And she, um, she would find probably a pair of pants that are more pushed to the back of the jean drawer, like the ones he hasn't probably worn in a while, they might be too small for him, or uh, he just forgot that they were there because they haven't yet been donated. So she picks those ones out and would, after her shower and getting cleaned up and making sure to wash off like the jewelry that she always wears, it's just, it's got grime and stuff on it now and she's really trying to protect the the rings that are from her mom and the necklace as well. Um, and I think she would take a pair of scissors <laughs> to these pants. They don't fit them anymore. It's fine. And she's sitting on his bedroom floor and just kind of, in a sense, cutting away and rehemming them. Um, finding a bunch of different makeshift threads, maybe some strings or yarn, things that are too big. And it's making this all patchworky in a sense. Very Frankenstein britches right now. But they would fit her, and she's used to doing things like this. I mean, she's got, like, little bits all over her, her dad's coat. Yeah. And finding just a, a sweater to, or not sweater, a long sleeve shirt to throw underneath her, her jacket. It is a little big. She tucks it in and rolls up, like, cuffs the sleeves, but can't really be seen underneath her, her jacket. 
His socks, however, are annoying. Way too long. It's like that, that where the heel part is too big and it like bubbles at the shoe and ugh. That's annoying to her, but she deals with it. You grab your clothes. You grab whatever you need for the school day and heading downstairs, you are met with a wonderful, very tasty breakfast and a slowly warming arty still a little sort of hesitant but easing into himself with each passing minute and eventually it is time to head to school but if there's anything that you would like to do before school uh she would actually take a lot of this money out and put it under his bed <laughs> Okay, cool. That doesn't need to be in there. She probably keeps like 30 bucks. <laughs> All 470 of it. That's right. It's, it's so, he doesn't know it's there. She does not tell him. Because okay. then he'll panic about it. <laughs> so Makes She like probably mental. rolls it up in uh, <laughs> another shirt that she found. Actually, probably from his dirty laundry. <laughs> Just pulled it out. It's like, ah, oh, he'll think that it's like in the laundry and gets lost in the washer. Ooh, whoops. And then wraps it up and shoves it all the way as far deep as she can. Underneath his bed. Whoops. <laughs> How did that get there? As, as you do this, and Drake, unless there's anything specific that you would like to do with a very, very amorous June, who's just all the way, just kind of looking up at you, and as you throw newspapers, just, wow, you're really strong. And just walking down the streets, uh, unless there's anything that you would like to do before school. Uh, no, I'm just using Amelia's bike very awkwardly because it's for a very small person. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like <laughs> riding like that and then having June just kind of lead me along the path because I don't know it. But Wait, is this I her new June bike? Does. Yeah, the one you just bought. It's like decent size. You can just lift up the seat. It's an adult sized bike. Why are you so offended about this bike? Because I <laughs> bought it and made sure that it was perfect. <laughs> and it could grow with it. you. This is your lifelong perfect. bike. <laughs> no one else can complain about it. <laughs> <laughs> Only I can say wrong things about it, Drake. <laughs> Okay, in have the you, back of my, my ear starts me... burning. <laughs> it works just you... fine! Lift up the seat! <laughs> June just, like, reaches across and... <laughs> you're fine. Have you ever ridden a bike before? Uh, actually, once or twice, but not very often. So, um, you can adjust the back if you want. And, um, out, come here. Oh. And she, like... <laughs> puts her bike down and kind of like walks over to you and just like come on get off get off and i'll okay 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 um so you just unlatch that and you put that up and that's probably your hand um there 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 we go you can tr try that now if 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 you oh want. yeah that's that's much better thank you that's You're pretty okay. smart for a kid <laughs> and she runs over to her bike and just immediately gets on and starts to cycle on. This house? You throw, <laughs> and June is just kind of like pedaling on ahead. She's kind of forgotten the fact that uh, you're meant to be delivering newspapers. She's, uh, you can see from behind, her ears are very, very red. As <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> yeah as you drive and as you eventually pull into the long long drive of the Logan estate you see much as you did before although this time under the slowly rising sun you see the barns, you see the stables all around, you see the paddocks through which horses run, and you can see that there is a soft, very close dewy mist over everything. There's something almost ethereal about Logan Manor in the morning. Though vastly uh, 
vastly increased by the fact that uh, in the uh, in the windows you can see flickering candlelight in each and every room. For as you drive, you see that none of the electrical things around the estate appear to be working. None of the floodlights. And you can see that outside a number of the barns, where you last saw grey vans beginning to drive away in order to get Robert Logan, to spring him from his prison convoy, you can see that they are still where they are. You can see a number of them being loaded onto tow trucks, but as you drive past them, you see that each and every one of them appears to be dead. Eventually, the car stops pulling up outside of Logan Estate, and your father just looks out of the windshield. Oh, amazing how the other half lives, isn't it? <laughs> I told you, they probably wouldn't mind at all about any of that money, which is why we should keep it. I'll still go apologize. Well, It really is a <clears throat> drop in the bucket for them. They don't care. Money is one thing, darling, but a credit card is quite another thing. So, um, <sighs> right. shall we, uh, can we make ourselves known then? Uh, the very private people. They probably would prefer if it was just me, if that's all right. Make a charm check. Okay. You only need one success. Darla has the credit card. Or did you just tell him that you had it? I just told him that I had it, but I don't <laughs> actually have it. Uh, I have a four. I'd like to bump that up. But no, I also have a curse. Dang it. Okay. I've been cursed. <laughs> What you need, what you need. I actually, wait, can I undo, can I counter a bless with a curse? Yes, so what you can do, okay. you would have to use two blesses to get one success. That takes it away. Okay. And then you would have to use four blesses to get one success. According to the maths on your charm check. Okay. So in total, you would need six, six. Success, or six blesses. Yeah. Okay, I do have seven. I want to keep my dad out of this as best as I can. Here, can I give you two? To take away the first one, and then you can use your other. Baby, I got so many curses. Blesses are like pennies to me right now. <laughs> all right, all right. I will steal one then. And no, then two. I'll... Take away two. one okay. of your <laughs> successes, and then use four <laughs> on the other side. Your the power of friendship. Father looks at you and just nods and. All right, I'll be sat right here. Right. I promise I won't take too long. And Amelia will hop out of the car, purposely, like, locking the doors, like, kind of hitting that button on her way out, just in case. Waving as she walks up. You walk across the path, gravel crunching under your foot. And as you look to your right, you can see the barn that Eli confronted Matson in, but next to this... You see the barn that you and Artie investigated. The one with the empty door frame in, through which you saw what you can only imagine to be the future. But as you walk up to the door, you are surprised because without you even having to go up the steps, even having to knock on the door or even ring the doorbell, the door opens. Oh, and, ah. And Del Delilah Logan stands there. Uh. Hello, Amelia. You're up very early. I'm sorry for visiting you at this early morning hour without an appointment. It's okay, Amelia. How are you? Um, I have an apology to make. I, um, found a Logan credit card, and I took some money. She's going to open the bag and and show the thousands of dollars, $3,000 that she had taken. You found a credit card? Yes. 
And I made a very stupid move. We have medical bills. And I'm sorry. Also, I have also lied about another thing. Mm, my father was curious about why I've been stressed lately. And so I mentioned I have an internship with you. Can Christ. I have an internship with you? <laughs> Beautiful. Her eyes flick towards your father's car. And she walks past you and starts to head towards the car. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Hey, we're going to go talk. He's a lovely man. Um, very nice. Very innocent. Uh, only talks to plants. Okay. As you approach, the car window comes down, and your father leans on out, and... Miss Delilah Logan, I assume. And you must be the father of Amelia. She's been very impressive so far. How long has it been now, Amelia? Oh, uh couple of months early. Uh, it's been a while. We've been investigating uh, the geological surroundings of earthquakes, so it, it's been a bit of a precursor before that. Yes, and uh, yet uh, Amelia has explained to me that uh, the uh, misunderstanding regarding the credit card, no harm, no foul at all. Uh, in fact, um, it is a paid internship, isn't it? Miss Oliver. Oh, right. Ah, just overdue. It was supposed to pay at the end, but... Right. Yes, so, um, obviously, uh, this is, um, a bit more unconventional than we're expecting. It, it, like I say, miscommunication on, on my part, but, um, we're going to be setting up uh, something much more official in, in, in future. This is just so we could get Amelia her money as soon as possible. Isn't that right? Hey, thank you. Yes, of course. But I'll but, better communicate. No, 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 Amelia, please. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the miscommunication was mine, Mr. Oliver, and uh, thank you so much for driving her out. You really didn't have to. Um, but uh, don't you have school, Miss Oliver? Yes, I do. I just thought we would connect before, just to, so there's no cross wires. Um, but we should connect uh, again uh, for the rest of my internship. Contact or lead or charm. Whichever heart test you want to make. We're gonna go two with two successes. Lead. Okay. So I try to encourage her. <gasps> Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to tag you in them, but I just want to let you know right now, you just got six pluses. Go ahead. Okay. I don't know what it's going to take, but I, I would like to really hard succeed in this moment as I try to get an internship solidified ah, with Delilah. It will take you five. I will take those. To get uh, three. Okay. I will do that. I would, I would absolutely like to do that. Delilah looks at you and just nodding. Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, um, this particular project is a group project, I believe. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And I find myself in an empty house tonight, so I would be appreciative of the company if you have any. Of course. I'll bring all my research notes over. Few other minds on it, I promise. How about we exchange notes? Yes. After school. Excellent. Okay, thank you. And Amelia will awkwardly bow. <laughs> Delilah does the same and just well, um, have a good day at school and I look forward to um, 
talking later. Thank you. And she's going to try to open the door and realize that she locks it. <laughs> Just, I... Oh, yes, of course. There we, there we are. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your generosity. It's quite all right. She's, she's an extraordinary girl. I know. Right, are we ready? Yep. Yes, to school, to do the normal school things. Yes. Yes, yes, lovely. Right, chocks away. Here we go. And starting to sort of back out the driveway before realizing, oh, wait, no, this is larger than ours. I can just turn around. And there we go. Don't she run over the nice. hedges. Yeah, yeah. And she seems very lovely. Very, very nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's been a blast doing the internship with her, and I'm excited to do more. <laughs> a blast. Yes, now I can imagine. Mm -hmm. So, um... Yeah. What, uh... What exactly is it? Uh, you said, you said ge ge uh, geographical? Geographic, uh, yes, yes, yes. Research on, on the earthquakes. We've been pulling up old history maps and whatnot that might be causing them, which is why sometimes I, I have to go to like the woods um, and doing more outdoors uh, things, which is probably why I should get some new shoes eventually. These are not really great for for walking out in all the dirt and sticks and stones and uh, moments. Well, it sounds like you have a paid position now, so... Uh... Yes. You have pocket money, which is lovely. Uh, nice first, to, um, first to June's bills, though. Right. Right. Half goes into savings. That's my final offer. You're not very good at negotiating if you're only giving me a final offer after one point, but fine. I think I am very good at negotiating because I just won. Wait. D um, but, uh, uh, fine. Okay. But then I also get to buy shoes for June. She and I both get new shoes. Oh, whatever you do with your half of the money is absolutely fine, but just so long as you're saving some. No, it makes it feel like I didn't negotiate anything at all. I know. It's awful how that happens with parents. You're all really good at that. I'm just going to kind of pout and look out the window. <laughs> you watch as the sun slowly begins to rise, getting higher and higher, as the mist slowly begins to fade, and eventually you find yourself outside of Jenkins High. You can what? see students around you can see cars pulling up and you can see crowds upon crowds of students gathering outside as you pull to a stop uh thanks for the ride pops you don't have to take me into the front of the building uh not that i'm embarrassed of you uh it's okay i'm slightly embarrassed people don't get dropped off at school all right so if you just or, or if we're just going, can you, okay, just maybe pull around over on the other side, past the block, and I'll, I'll walk back. It'll be fine. Um, it's all right, it's all right. I know my daughter's walking with a cooler crowd now. That's fine. I'll just park. Here we go. Right, uh, are you too cool to give your father a kiss on the cheek? Oh. Never. And she'll Lovely. lean over, offer a quick peck. I promise I'll try to get back at more normal times or at least give a heads up and because my internship is is just a little demanding as it's ramping up right now but I'll, I'll at least let you know if I'm going to be late good so we agreed and uh, dinner will be ready for you whether you join us or it will be ready when you get back all right thank you I love you I love do you, you want a new pair of shoes too as she kind of closes the door and leans through the window I'm fine. And he starts to roll the window up. Go have fun. We could all have matching pairs as a family. <laughs> you see him laughing as he begins to reverse and he drives off round the corner. Right. 
now to go tell everyone about our new group project. She's going to scan the courtyard to see if she, who she can find about this uh, new uh, deal she's promised with everyone. I would say, Drake, it's probably been around 15 or so minutes since uh, you and June have arrived into the school. And she just leaps off her bike and sort of jumping up, just... Um, Thank you. Um, you. You can be my. Um, you can be my newspaper assistant um, on other days if you'd like as well, because um, you're really good and um, you're not quite as fast on a bike as me. But that just means that you can keep an eye on any houses that we've not um, not already delivered to, and um, and also it means that um, it means Amelia can have a day off every so often because um, you know it might be nice. Yeah, I, I'm down. Always to help out wherever you need. Okay. Um, uh, also, um, I'm going to go um, see if I can find Michael. Um, uh, can you just make sure uh, Amelia doesn't get weird about it or uh, tries to chase him away? Because uh, I don't think she likes him very much. Um, I'm just going to kneel down to her and be like, don't worry, I got you secret sure thing okay um ha have a good day and she just like runs up the stairs and you just hear it as she disappears into the crowd see ya hey, drake hey amelia what's okay. up thank you so much again for taking june getting all of those letters out i know she thinks she can do it on her own and she always goes so fast but you never know and she's still so small and easy to take and i just i want to make sure she's safe so i really appreciate you waking up early and helping her out with the route i hope it wasn't too yeah. much of a problem no it's fine until that one hawk came down and grabbed her and started flying what? away and then i had to like chase after it no uh, i threw a newspaper at it so it was fine yeah, we got her we got her back why would you do that? You had me for a second and she'll just kind of like slap at your arm a little bit. I actually thought that you were leaning into something and oh. How did it go with the Logans? Oh, uh, uh well, uh, <laughs> uh, better than you might imagine, actually. I only met with Delilah and it turns out uh, she said yes and went with everything that I said, that I have an internship with her and that she is very interested in comparing notes with us all later as no one else in her family is going to be home tonight. Oh, perfect. I may have made us an alliance. I don't know if we can trust her, but out of all of the Logans, I kind of like her. She's always been very upfront and tried to give us the best kind of deal in situations. She might be the one that we really do try to work with. That's what I've been thinking. That's why I was gonna go tonight to like, see if I could uh, seduce her to the light side, I guess, I don't know. Right. Are you really going to try to seduce her? Not seduce like that, like try to bring her on our side, but you already did it, so I don't have to. You already seduced her. You did I it did, for us. Don't say it like that. I convinced her, I didn't seduce her. Do you think I just shook my shoulders at her or something and she said yes? I mean, that's pretty seductive. So. It was, what? She kind of freezes for a second and her face goes immediately red. What? Never mind. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. As you say this, Dala, coming round the corner with Artie, you can see Drake head and shoulders above most of the people. And you can see him looking down at a figure obscured by everyone else in front of her. But you can only assume Amelia is there too. Uh, I assume I see a very flustered Amelia. Uh huh. Stuttering. Getting closer. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, as they get closer and seeing this. Why are you a tomato? Uh, 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 she was just showing me her seductive dance, so. I mean, no, it's, uh, what? It's not the. What did I uh, miss? Do you like matter. each other? My shoulders. No, we were, she met up with uh, Delilah. And yes! So. Oh, yes! yeah. What the we, hell? I found that uh, out this morning well i kind of got caught taking the money my dad and i i didn't want to completely lie so i said someone that, did it why is well, that hard no you already took the blame once i can't keep throwing yeah it on i'm you. not That's in jail not so just first of me. all 
you're the one who told me to not allow or take on the problems of others. So I'm not going to put my problems on your <laughs> to shoulders. To be fair, I put my problem on you. So you can give it back. That's not, I said yes. I'm the one who said we should take the money. Yeah, I told you to run though. We're not playing this game of table tennis right now. We can. <laughs> I can anyway, go all day, baby. Well, being really, are you trying to seduce me? What is going on Why here? Are we talking about seduction? <laughs> What is know, no yeah what is wild. going on here? Oh right, uh, maybe I should tell you the biggest part. Uh, Delilah's invited us all over tonight. <laughs> she accepted what? my internship request. Well, internship. no, it makes it sound like she's my intern. I'm her intern because uh, I had to tell my dad that I got the money because I have an internship with the Logans, studying geographical causes of earthquakes which are, as far as most humans know, is the only reason of earthquakes, but. Your dad believed that? Apparently enough. And Delilah actually came out to the car and told him that I was an excellent intern and that they just forgot to pay me yet. And she took the blame actually. So I don't have to take the blame and you don't either because Delilah did. And she wants to meet with all of us tonight. But does she know that I have the credit card? Mm, I didn't get around to that part. Um, uh oh, so you fine. said you had it. Yes. She's just gonna pat your head. You're such a good I little tried. criminal. My little protege. Don't oh, call me a criminal. I did one thing once. Hey, crime's really crime, critical. baby. Now it's just the oh. life of it. I don't even know how so you I... got out of it. There's a lot of things that don't make sense to a lot of people. Right. I'm one of those people that it doesn't make sense to. That's okay. What? <sighs> um, okay, well, just tonight, it's just Delilah. When? None of the other Logans. Wait, where's I John? I said after school. Where's Magnus? He's hurt. I mean, he's... I don't know. E even all of them, as far as she indicated, that she would have the house alone tonight. That's weird. I think it's Jack. She's been quite amicable compared to all the other logans i think we should have a conversation with her that doesn't start off defensively she's going to specifically look at darla for that one yeah she's just glaring at you just an option drake don't you think this is a good idea back me up on this yeah i mean that's what i was going to do anyway all so right we're not doing bad. this backup stuff have your Artie, own what do you if you got a spine use it He's a very good spine. It is a very good spine. I think yeah, you're doing yeah, great really at it. Drake, shh. Amelia, you're doing great. I think it'll be a good idea. At least for us to learn Sorry, and maybe get a piece more information. And if we have someone like Delilah in our corner, I mean, we were just talking last night how nice it might be to have someone with power and money instead of like us. Could help. Power, money. Okay. Really? Yeah. I didn't think you'd say yes so quickly. I don't have very many ideas right now, except you all wanting to save the world, so I'm here to help. I'm really glad. <laughs> I think this is important. Okay. I know... I really appreciate it. Of course. I am... Plus, we're not really saving the whole world, we're just saving Eden Falls. So, smaller world, but... Right now, it's my only world. Mm-hmm. Sure. Anyway. All right. What are we, when are we meeting up? Or after school, are we going over there? Yes. Uh, uh, Drake. Drake. Question. Why are you raising your yeah, hand? Um, you told me to shut up, so I was just... I wanted to take I, my turn. I didn't say that. I didn't say words. I said, shh. I'm trying to be nicer. Okay. You are. And then I said you sorry. Um, you did. Okay. Anyway, should we tell Dar Delilah about seeing the future sorry you're on my head <laughs> oh that part i think it would be I mean, better she has to if... know that they have the tech there that's opening portals or right. whatever so do we tell her she... we know what they have or my only concern with telling them that i can see glimpses of the future and i can't control it is that i don't want to turn into a lab rat i was I'd just like about to, to say it... i don't want you to yeah. be a science can experience her... so can tell her that i saw it since I've seen it through you. True. So worst case, she comes after me. And then when they try to examine me, I can't see anything in the Should future. We so then they get ask lost. her about the Neurocasters? 
We can bring that up too. Oh, that's a good I mean, point. I was gonna go check out the warehouse after school. Um, mm -hmm. Alright, I'll go break. with you then. I mean, it might be. I, I, I was just gonna have a quick, you know, peek in, peek out if you wanna. Break and enter? I... Oh, well, no, no I, I was. I was gonna I've say. I've already gotten you... my quota for the quarter. I really can't have more on my rap sheet right now. Not for you, it'd be Darla. I'm assuming oh. the party and Darla are going, and then we go to the Logan's. Ah, already seems like he wants to go by himself. Why? What? No, I just. I don't know. I, I, I just figure, um. I was gonna say you're safer one place than another, but <laughs> I guess you don't care about that. Um, what was the one thing that I usually try to keep safe? You. I don't care about me. Plus, okay. she has a gun. <laughs> and she's like literally pushing her <laughs> hand over your mouth. Shut up! Don't say that. All right. All right. <sighs> okay. So, um, we go check out the neurocasters. You go shake down slash seduce Delilah Logan and uh yes but then you all should probably come join us they did she indicated like our group so I definitely think she knows Dollar's involved and if Dollar's involved she knows you're involved Archie so she knows something or other yes all right yeah we'll meet y'all okay that works so we just come to the front door Thank you. Yeah, That's actually, weird. I didn't even have to knock the door. Also, small little weird note that I noticed there. Their power's not working. Candles were everywhere. Hmm. The MP worked. I don't think we should share that part for sure. Like, that feels powerful. Wait, do yeah. you still have it on you? I mean, oh, yes. I, I, yeah, I, I have it in my bag. Um, Wait, when did y'all trade? Whatever. Cool. Sick. All right, well... S s School time! My favorite time of day. And we'll Yay. split. Cool, that sounds fun! Okay. Perfect. Okay, well, have, have a good day, everyone. <laughs> See you soon. Me too. Enjoy watching all those Christmas movies. And as you all head about your days, is there anything anyone wants to do at school? Uh, with I want to get caveat, to the danger. That you are going to be sharing your final English class together, uh, and you each have a presentation to give as well, whether you have been Perfect. preparing <laughs> for it or not. So, uh, is there anything any of you want to do with your day? Do, do I right. remember my presentation? <laughs> yeah. It is, uh, it, it's, it's up to you. Let's, uh, let's do a... Do a comprehend check for me, Amelia, to see if, um, in amongst all of the busyness, you have remembered what your assignment is. Oh no, I hope it's good. Okay, one Let's success. Even I remember. Well, then again, I guess that's Sam, not Darla. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, Amelia, as you step through the front door of the school, and you are met with the corridors and the lines upon lines of lockers, you see a student walk past carrying a copy of A Christmas Carol, and suddenly it dawns on you. Bob Cratchit. What oh. is it that gives your life meaning? Oh no. And suddenly you are the least prepared for presentation you have ever been in your long studied life. So let's start with you, Amelia. How does your day go? Is there anything you're doing with your day? Yes, she is slowly siphoning craft and supplies to put together. Like every time she goes back to her locker in between, she's crafting it together. Like she's pulled off some tinsel because I imagine Christmas decorations are up around this school. A few oh, ornaments. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she'll just secretly like snatch one here or there so it's not too noticeable. Go to her locker and try to fix it to a variety of the the front, because she doesn't have poster board, but she'll rip off the front of a bunch of notebooks and try to tape them together to create a poster board since that's a little bit thicker. So if you can make, uh, make literally any check you want to see how well this goes, oh. uh, the amount of successes you have will dictate how presentable this is. Oh no. Uh, I am trying to figure out what this would 
uh, match. Maybe Tinker? Uh, it's not really tech. Never mind. Mm. I'm going to go with Charm, which is not a great choice because I have zero there. But I'm trying to... I'm. I'm putting in cute fluffy instead of quality because I didn't have time to do it. So I'm going to try to actually for once. No. Okay. That makes sense. Didn't work for me. That's not my typical style. As, I'm gonna you, lean into that. as you step back and look at these taped together notebook fronts and you just step back to admire your work. One of them just pff, falls to the ground, leaving a quarter of it gone. It'll have to do. Your English class swiftly approaches. It's fine, it's not art class. Drake, is there anything that you are doing with your day before your final English class of the year? Just the usual. Just going to my classes, go to my roof on my, like, little break that I get. Um, draw in there real quick. Just a uh, little picture of June and the paper route that we did for the day as a memory. As you're stood up on the roof, surveying Eden Falls, surveying the horizon, and your eyes slowly come back towards the campus itself, can you make a comprehend check for me, please? Comprehend. <clears throat> Nice. Two success, because I got a one curse. You would see from your vantage point stood near the bleachers of the still being constructed Jenkins High Stadium. A lone figure. Oops. Just standing and as you look, even from a distance, you can tell Lana. Her shoulders are just shuddering ever so slightly. Hmm. I almost forgot about her. I'm gonna just run down. Um at the back fire escape and then get down there and kind of gingerly but also kind of cautiously approach her and just kind of come around the corner and be like hey oh my god how's... oh uh, hi. Sorry. Uh, hi sorry I didn't mean to oh. scare you no it's fine hi how are you I was just um getting some early practice in, so, um, hmm. hi, how are you? Um, you fine? You, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Um, uh, I'm fine. Uh, how about you? Mm. Are you, are you okay? No, oh, yeah, I'm great. You sure? Cool. You don't, you don't seem too good. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is random. Um, do you, um, do and you and your friends want to come around at some point? Um, I know you came to my Halloween party, um, way back, but, um, do you want to come around at some point? Yeah, I, I'd love to. I'm, I'm sure they would too. Except for maybe one of them. I mean, she doesn't have to come if she doesn't want to. I just, um... No, that's fine. She'll come. Okay. She might come and destroy some stuff, but she'll come. <laughs> sure you okay? And I'll just, like, reach out to, like, kind of touch her on the shoulder. As, like, a comforting hand. This sounds really dumb. But, um... Turns out it's really hard to keep up family traditions around Christmas when they decide to just book a last-minute holiday to the elves. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> Definitely know that with my dad being the pilot. Spent a lot of holidays alone. You're welcome to come to my place for Christmas if you want to. No, it's so... It's okay. It's fine. I just... I really wanted to make gingerbread, man. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> you know, I never had a gingerbread, man. Or pretty much anything that's, like, traditionally Christmassy. Those little houses, you know, people make... <laughs> that weird thing with the frosting and the candy on it. I mean, it always seemed really cool. I didn't say it would be good, but I just um. <laughs> I just really don't want to be alone. <sighs> I understand. Like I said, so my, um, my place is always open. I got a a kitchen. Probably not nearly as big as yours, but uh, it's, <laughs> no, it's okay. probably not. <laughs> I'm really fucking sorry. I I didn't I didn't mean to interrupt your day or whatever. I just um... don't apologize. No, it's it's okay to feel you did. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's just you always, all you are always hanging around, and it just seems really nice. And <laughs> nice, you know, um, Darla just lost her house, right? Well, yeah. You also fought a dinosaur or whatever back in. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's nice, but it's also crazy. You're you're on the good side of this. Trust me. <laughs> I just, um, yeah, I, I, I guess I don't, it's like my last year of school and I'm suddenly realizing that when I leave, no one really knows me and I don't really know, um, anyone. Really, um, the only friend I thought I had, um, she left. And if I stop coming to school tomorrow, I don't know if anyone would really care or notice. So, um, I mean, I would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you You're know, sweet. one of the things my sister said when she went to college was one of the best aspects of going to a new town and a new school is you get to basically become who you want to be and be your new self, make new friends, make new experiences with none of the baggage that you had in high school. None of the people with their preconceptions of you or the judgment they might have had before one way or the other for good or bad. It, it's like a fresh start. I have no doubt you'll make new friends in college. <laughs> you just gotta be nice. I wouldn't even be thinking about this if it weren't for your little friend yesterday, but, um... Little friend? Which one? They're all little. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. Um... Nico came and talked to me and... Oh, he did? Yeah, yeah, just said, um... Just, you know. Anyway, thank you. You're... <sighs> anyway, you can tell your friends or whatever, but, um... <sighs> when were you... When did you want us over? We're all busy <laughs> tonight. Or at least I'm well, busy tonight. But... I don't have any plans ever uh, now, um, so... Feel free to drop by whenever. I... Huh? Christmas Eve? No, you'll you'll have plans. Um, you don't have to do that, but um.
That's anyway, fine. I can I can be with my family on Christmas Day. Okay, if you want. Well, I'll keep you updated. Okay, uh, over to you for the weather. Um, that was dumb. That was, um, oh, sorry, you just sounded really official. And uh, anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, I do actually have to go and, um, get ready for, thank you, Drake. Hmm. I'll just okay, give her I... a hug real oh. quick before she leaves. Like, you'll be okay. And then let it go. So it's not awkward. You, you see her eyes are welling even more, and she's like, okay, well, I start again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye. And she heads on off. As Dala, are you doing anything with your day? Uh, nope. Ready to get through <laughs> class. Well, in which case, the last class of day is English. As Mrs. Reynolds stands in front of you all, and, well, not quite the end of term, but last cl class of this term from me, so with it, and she looks at your crumbling <laughs> presentation, Amelia, your final assignment. What brings your life meaning? So, um, who wants to go first? Otherwise, I'm going to start <laughs> picking you out one at a time. No. Amelia, okay. Uh, I just want to quickly say, Amelia, I'm sorry for messing up your presentation earlier. Nope. I didn't mean to. Okay. I I think I've got this. Yeah, yeah, it looks I, great. I, sorry, I, it was my fault. I did that. I know. My bad. Got it. Um. So, right, my presentation didn't go as planned, um, and something happened to it. As she gestures over to Darla. <laughs> I said sorry. But I didn't give up on it, and I tried to rework it, it, being creative, and I noticed that throughout throughout the day that it kept me focused, that caring about things, caring about what we do, no matter how small or trivial they seem, like a class project. Not that the class is trivial. This is very important to my education and I can't thank you any more for it at all. You're my favorite teacher. And <laughs> she holds up that um, that even if we don't think it's going to be perfect or that we can achieve it to the level that we want, that we or that we don't give up still and we at least in the moment turn up with whatever we can and, and and that's really what's worth living for is that we just keep trying and that we don't give up and that sounds exhausting and I won't lie I was very stressed and at one point I screamed into my locker today um but I still think that considering the circumstances I handled it really well and I should be proud of that and I think I deserve an A as she ends her presentation. <laughs> Make a charm. Make a charm check. <laughs> You're just going to let that RP carry itself there. Okay. <laughs> One. <laughs> you don't get your grade immediately. Okay, but fair as, enough. As you walk back to your seat and you see Drake and you see... I mean, uh, and you see Dala, and you see Artie. Amelia, you have a good feeling. The rest of the class give their presentations as well, one after the other. Until eventually, as it always does, the school bell rings, and students stand and the promise of one more day of school begins to head out 
into the chilly air of the outside. That was the longest day ever. Are we ready? Right. We're splitting and we go right. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always fine. All right, cool. So uh, I already warehouse real fast and then we'll meet them. Okay. Yeah. Um, where Sick. do we want to, uh, we, we meeting at the Logan's or, um, I'd assume so. Cause that's where y'all are going to yeah. be, right? Mm -hmm. yep. I imagine it'll take us a while. A little song and dance first. Yeah. Get a sense of how each other are feeling. Drake, did you bring your sword just in case? I, I did not bring my sword to school. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. What are you gonna do? Stab her with a sword? No. Um, I mean, it's fine. Shooting her in the leg. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tarla's gonna like pull on Drake's shoulder to like lean down as she stands up a little taller. <laughs> Please watch out for her. I don't know what's going on, but she's going a little. She's yeah, losing it. Don't worry. I got her. Okay. I got her. Thank you. All right, cool. I'm gonna... Okay, cool. Okay, so. I'm going to keep an eye out looking for Lana real quick. Okay. Make uh, make a comprehend check or investigate, whichever you'd rather. Uh, the same amount of less, or skill. Dos. Dos success. Uh, yeah, you see lana she is much more composed now and you see her with her usual coterie of friends just walking through and sort of bag over one shoulder and you see that they're currently heading towards a rank of cars as well hers included hey amelia do you think it's cool if lana drives us it's a long way to logan's so it can um, be faster yeah can doesn't i have at to, least put my bike to drop us off yeah i'm sure is... Otherwise, I'm gonna have to run after you while you're on the bike, and then that's a long time. Or you're gonna you have like to go exercise. really slow. Don't give me that. That's not the excuse. No, no, no. I don't mind that. It is a distance, but is there something Dude. else going on? She just feels left out and lonely, and I mean, she was there since the beginning of the dinosaur and everything. So it's true. But. She can just drop us off. She doesn't have to come in. I don't want her to come in anyway. I don't want her dealing with the Logans. But if you think that's this will get her, this will get her to stop being like, I want to be part of the crew. Do you want her to be part of our crew? No, I don't think she would know how to handle any of this. Well, did you think any of us would be prepared to handle any of this when we started? Well, maybe Darla. Uh, she seemed quite prepared, actually. Yeah, Darla. Darla, definitely. Yeah. I felt like but everybody else, the rest of us seem, I mean, it was unusual. It's unusual. But we handled but it. You seem composed for the most part, even well, with your neurosis. It's only a little bit, and it only comes out at certain times. That's not fair. Listen, if you want to bring Lana around, fine. I don't have a problem with her per se, but she's not been nice to me in the past. I know. So you're going to be in charge of her. Okay, I'll manage. Okay. Also, you should definitely give Darla a heads up that if you're bringing Lana around more often, because that is a conversation I don't want to be a part of, so do it when I'm gone, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, also she invited us over for cookies. That's fair. Sorry, Christmas or something. Okay. Oh. Do we have to bake cookies and then bring no, them she'll, over? No, she'll bake them for us. Oh. Is this going to be a prank where she, like, fills them with laxatives or something? If it is, then we'll never see her again. If it is, you'll eat the cookies first, and then we'll decide if the rest of us eat cookies. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'll be the okay. guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. Go ask her then. Okay. Turning around, walking over, and just be like, Lana, uh, hey, real oh, quick. Oh, um, hey, um, and she kind of waves at her friends, and they're all 
bunching up and kind of looking you up and down a little bit. Um. Hey. Hey. So, I have to go to the Logan's place today. Um, well, me and Amelia have to go there. It's like this annoying thing we have to do, but it's a long way. So I was wondering if we could get a ride and you just drop us off, if you don't mind. At least we'll hang out a little bit on the drive. Um, I don't want to put you out though. If you have something to do or anywhere to go, or you don't want to waste the gas, <laughs> uh, it's fine. She looks to you, and then at her friends. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hop. Hop. Hop in. Um. Okay. Uh, can we put Amelia's bike in your trunk? It's relatively yeah, yeah, small. No. We can fit it. Well, so she, it makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, no, right? Sure. That's what I've been saying. Um, okay. okay. Uh, uh, yeah, no, um, I'll pop it open. Cool. I'll just wave over to Amelia, like, come on, let's go. Right. She'll wheel her bike over and put it in front of Drake, because there's no way I'm going to be able to lift my bike and put it in his trunk. Fine, I got it. <laughs> Mm. Hey, um, Sweet. hi again. Um, good day at school, or um, <clears throat> <clears throat> yep, um, really nice to see you and uh, hang out with you a little after school, Anna. Uh, enjoying classes. Yeah. Did you pass that biology exam? That was absolutely wretched. Honestly, oh, when he God, said... Oh, God, no. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm sleep. Um, I, I fell asleep in Dr. Guntrip's last class. Oh. Um, I, I, he just has the kind of monotone that I, I, I just, I can't. It's brutal. I draw little snoozy Zs all along my notes every time because he drones on and repeats it every single time. <laughs> Oh my god, you're right, and um, Drake, you get in the back. Um, Amelia, do you want to get in the um, passenger side? Uh, sure, yes. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, and as she's headed towards the driver's side, you see her friends just look over at her and... Hey, Lana! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Fuck off. And she just gets into the car and just starts and begins to drive. Yeah. As yeah. Dala. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Enjoying this. <laughs> no, she's going with Artie. Uh, and she doesn't know where this warehouse is. I'm assuming he does. So... Having spoken with Nico, Artie begins to lead you towards the docks, an area that you were familiar with from your time back in March. You see the ocean, you see the amusement pier, you see the roads that lead across the coast, but you also see, just a stone's throw away from where the amusement pier stands, you see warehouses, rows upon rows of warehouses with gravel paths traveling in between. And as you and Artie walk, you see a familiar space where you and your old group of friends stood off against Robert Logan and Stuart Madsen, where you wielded a gun, and where shots were fired. Have we hit a supernatural? Yeah. My goodness. Oh my god. I mean, it was time to whoever did that. <laughs> I saw that. Okay. Uh -huh. um. <laughs> <laughs> this is a major soup day. This is... You get a soup. You get a soup. <laughs> we got the trio I mean, dish this... to try them all. Yes. 
All so, three go to Darla. No! I will, so, as you... As the sun slowly begins to set, you see... Like I said, a long line of warehouses, and the only light uh, comes from a lone security booth off to one side, from which you hear the sound of a television playing. But as you're looking along uh, this row of warehouses, Artie just taps your shoulder, and pointing in the direction of one, you can see the faded name Logan Industries along its side. And outside, you see a very large truck is parked with a huge container on its back, a large yellow container with a stylized cartoon smiley face on, and you can see the words Howdy Electronics. And as you look on, you just see a number of drivers just stepping out of the warehouse and all right, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. And heading off towards the van, starting up, they drive off as this truck disappears into the distance. You wanted to do this by yourself? Well, you know, I figured, you know, fewer tracks, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Okay. So what did you um, want to look at? Uh, I don't know. I, I just, um, I mean, we already know a little bit about, uh, the Neurocasters, but, um... Yeah. I don't know. I, I just thought maybe there might be some delivery information, might be... We can find out what the connection actually is between Logan Industries and whatever this Howdy Electronics is, I guess. And that's where the brains of the operation... <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, you want to go in? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I will lead the way. If I can ask you to make a sneak check for me, please. I can. <clears throat> Ooh. What's your role? A, a zero. I'm mathing right now. Give me a quick second. Okay. Let me let me know if you need help. Yeah, I got you too. Okay, if I use six pluses, I can get two success. Two successes. Lovely. <laughs> How are you entering? Uh, where is it? Is there like a clear opening? Um, obviously, so, one that's more public, and then one that we could. So I will say you, you can see that there is a main entrance, but round the back there is what looks to be uh, some outside stairs, sort of like zigzagging up to a fire escape. <gasps> fire exit! Entry. That's where I'm going. Okay. So, <laughs> so Darla just like that. points. I will say that with the. Uh, your two successes. You head on up. Unseen. Okay. But we have also hit a supernatural. <laughs> no, we haven't. Which means <laughs> the that lie. You, your presence has not gone entirely unnoticed. As within the warehouse, the bolt of a crossbow is notched. Do I see this? You don't. This is out of view, and it will be waiting for you when you enter. <laughs> As Drake and Amelia, you drive. You drive for some time until eventually you find yourself outside the Logan estate, pulling up and you can see now the flickering of the orange in the windows is even more prominent in the dimming light of day. Night approaches. The sun is setting, streaking long, long shadows across the ground. And you can see that there is a shape in one of the windows looking out as Delilah stands there. 
waiting. Well, thanks for the ride. Sorry. Yep. We've got an internship, um, but uh, I hear you have a, a cookie party? Yeah, oh, I um, told her about your thing. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to come around at any point, um, obviously, my um, you've been to my home before, but uh, you can come over any anytime you want, really. Um, do, do you need a ride back um uh no it's fine delilah can take us back if anything or the logans can send send us home it's fine but yeah this was nice i like talking about class with you i hope i you see you tomorrow at school we can sit next to each other in biology maybe we'll keep each other awake yeah no i'll uh i'll poke you or whatever i'm <laughs> Sounds good. Well, uh, have fun in the big mm. creepy house. Right. <laughs> Work <Okay>. calls. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you around. Yeah. Okay. okay. Bye. Okay. Get home safe. See Amelia ya. will close the door and as they're walking up, listen, Drake, if this friendship goes sour, I'm 100% blaming you because I'm actually starting to like her. And if this is all a ruse, this is your fault. I think she's really trying, so hopefully it goes okay. And she's right. been pretty broken up about family and life and friends and, you know, normal stuff. Right. Not our stuff with end of the world tragedy and explosions and monsters and black holes and time warps and okay, people from the, the future trying to kill us. very long now at this point, isn't it? <laughs> it's... <laughs> You ready for this? Maybe. Oh, no, but we should do it anyway, right? Yep. Right. Okay, let's go. Whew. I should have brought my swords. Yeah, you should have. As you approach, you look to the window where you saw the shape, and it is gone. As you approach the front door, once again, it preemptively opens as Delilah stands there. Hello, Mr. Lee. Hello, Delilah. We'll um, have a few more friends joining us later. They had to finish up a, a project first. Yeah. You know them. Yes, I do. As does my father. Come with me. Yep. Mm hmm. And rather surprisingly, she doesn't step back inside. Instead, she steps out. Oh. And towards the barn that you entered a few nights ago, Amelia. Oh. Okay. So we're not going inside? No. She's walking ahead. Wait, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Everyone walks so damn fast as she tries to catch up. <laughs> as she takes you to the barn, she opens up the creaking door and you are met with a familiar sight, Amelia. Albeit not quite as you remember it. You see the bank of monitors that previously held images across Eden Falls, cameras keeping tabs on its inhabitants, on its businesses, on its houses. It is blank. Dead. You see also the doorframe standing in the centre. Metal, chrome, ramps leading up to it on either side. But unlike the last time you saw it, in the periphery of your eye, you see nothing. No tear in reality, no split in time. The doorframe, as far as you can tell, is just a doorframe now. Mm. Whatever Eli did wiped all the electrics in the estate. 
you also see a railing of hazmat suits standing to one side, and there is a single empty hanger on this. Do, are they the same color as the one we've seen before? They are. You also see off to one side a table of papers, and what look to be blueprints and designs and you can see scribblings over all of them. Scribblings that look of a familiar handwriting, albeit not quite identical, but you would definitely see some commonality with your friend Nico's handwriting. And you can ascertain from this, these were the notes and the designs of Nico from the future before you sent him back in time. Delilah walks over to the door. So, I spoke with your friend, Miss Oaks, when I'm assuming all of you were last here. Right. Right. Can you tell me exactly what my father has been doing? <laughs> um, well, I think there's been a bit of an attempt at what, a, a jailbreak heist. Jailbreak, um, murder. Crime oh. travel, perhaps, from looking at the hazmat suit over there. I think we have seen the missing one just age drastically. She walks over to the papers and taking them off the table, just hands them over to you, Amelia. Can you make a investigate check for me? Or calculate? Let's... Let's definitely... Yeah, this will work. Uh, it didn't one could get you one. I'll give... I'm going to give one for it. three can get you two. I will give three. Mm. <laughs> or, if we're keeping going, five can get you three. <laughs> That's okay. This is good. Two is good. <laughs> okay. So with two, as Delilah hands over the blueprints, you see designs for the very frame that stands in front of you. And there are a number of scribblings and scratched out notes. Um, mm -hmm. But what you can ascertain is this. This was an alternative to the time machine that Nico eventually ended up building. Scrapped early on, never built. But the blueprints have numerous notes on, won't work, closed loop, and underlined bootstrap principle. Won't change anything. And you s are able to ascertain a number of different things as well. Um, the foremost of which being that this door frame was designed to create a fixed tear in time. If you enter through it one way, you go back. Through another, you go forward. Now, unlike the time machine that Nico came to build, which can be used to travel through time and affect the past and the future, creating the branching timelines you experienced in October, this theoretical door, which Nico ultimately abandoned, would only be able to send you back in time or forward along it, unable to affect it in either direction, which is why, ultimately, it was abandoned. <clears throat> right. Oh. Why was this built? <laughs> and Delilah leans against the table. When I mean, you... Sorry. Please go. It, it just, it's baffling, especially knowing that it was his own deteriorating health last time that took the plunge because of this time travel a commitment, obsession. It probably is a better word for it. And now, it's leading towards a terrible future. I mean, awful. 
You know that, right? So. As Delilah prepares to talk, and you see her just take a deep breath. That last donation that pushed us to a supernatural, it had a secret reward attached to it. That when the time is right, this particular viewer wants to know a secret from any Logan or Matson. So Delilah takes a deep breath <clears throat> as she prepares to tell you everything. Dala, what are you doing? <laughs> as you stand outside the fire escape. <laughs> um, actually, I turn around and go to Delilah. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> We're sharing secrets? Let's, let's also not forget uh, Mr. Jenkins. Yeah. I mean, Darla she didn't has know. no idea. Oh my she was gosh. asleep. So many soups. Yeah. Um, she would just, I mean, before cracking open the door, listen in. she hear anything? You don't. Well, oh, sick, because that's a supernatural. Dang it. Um, all right, looking back at Artie. What exactly is our plan? Hopefully we can find some paperwork, anything like that. Um, but, uh, anything that ties this to the Logans, anything that... Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll figure it out together. Uh, alright. Stay behind me. But if things, like, hit the fan, leave. <laughs> okay? And I will do the okay. same. I mean, I won't leave you. Okay. But you leave me. No, I'm not gonna leave you either, so... Alright, leave me! we're stuck here. Mm. Okay, fine. But also leave. <laughs> she says as she reaches out to this door <laughs> to open it. It creaks open. And you are met with a small space. A small elevated office space. Corrugated flooring filing cabinets all around. You can see that there is a desk in the middle where it is very, very bare, very simple. And you can also see windows all around this office through which you can see a wide open metal space, cold and dark with unlit lamps hanging down from chains on the ceiling. And down below you see boxes. Boxes upon boxes, stacks upon stacks of boxes, all displaying the same graphics of Neurocasters. Bright and yellow, with these sleek white objects displayed on their front. There are, you would wager, over a thousand in this warehouse. Specifically of Neurocasters, nothing else? Like, that's what she's Just assuming. Okay. Yeah. Sick. All right. Um, she's going to search for papers, is what he said. Okay, so if you can make an investigate check for me, uh, I will say, depending on the success that you roll, will depend how much information you're able to glean. So the more successes, the better. Can I already roll two? <laughs> so for the, the successes are going to be a lot easier on account of the both of you looking. Why? Three ones? <laughs> well, that means that I could get three successes. Ugh. <laughs> That's zero. Zero. Okay. You are unable to find much, but I will say with Artie helping you, you're able to find a bare minimum. So, looking through paperwork, you... A lot of it doesn't make sense. A lot of it is order figures and numbers and sort of shipping container units. Um, you find that all of the orders are being delivered from San Francisco, which is where Howdy Electronics are based. I will say, with Artie's help, you are also able to ascertain 
that Howdy Electronics was bought just over a month ago by a larger company, by Logan Industries. Logan Industries own the Neurocaster because they own Howdy Electronics. Oh, that's not good. She takes that piece of, is it one piece of paper? Has she just kind of read that? Just one, yeah. Yeah, she's gonna take it and like lift it up to Artie. Look at that. I guess it makes sense. Can you make it? Nope. Can I you can't. make a move check for me, please? Uh, where is move? Old, uh, I'm, I'm mapping. Give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna use one bless to make that two, which then makes it a zero. And then I'm gonna okay. re-roll and hope I get successes. Two successes! Yes! <laughs> As you say the words, this isn't good, you just hear from the shadows a voice. You're right. It's not. And you are able to duck just in time as through the piece of paper you are holding up, a single metallic dart just through the piece of paper. And you see, stepping out from the shadows, Matson just beginning to reload the crossbow. And That's not yours. Really kind of need to leave this. Yeah, no, I know. But revenge is a bitch, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good right now. How are you doing? You doing good? It's good to see you awake. How'd you get out, by the way? I'm great. You know, tenacity is a wonderful thing, but also you trust What does that mean? So... Magnus said it too. <laughs> I can shoot you, just so you know. I can shoot you, just so you know. It's like old times sake, right? I love this for us. You know I have no compunction killing a child. I know. Dang, you know, maybe I should have killed you. How's your nose doing? You look a little ugh, right now. You like that grins and you see that he is missing his front teeth as he just she laughs. smiles at <laughs> <She's> you. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That's so, embarrassing. Um, what are we gonna do? Am I gonna have to? let you go or am I gonna have to I mean you don't have to do anything bring me to where yeah cause I don't I don't think I want to shoot you but um well, that's so nice I can't say the same it, but thanks well it's I kinda like you to stay alive to see what happens next cause your dad's still in hospital, and, um, he's, yeah, he's not good. Um, and he's, uh, Magnus wanted to keep this on the down low. He wanted to keep all of this real hush-hush, but you, you're not very good at quiet, are you kidding? No, I don't care to be quiet. Hmm. So what are we going to do? It seems like you have a plan. No, I'm just... I'm just real angry. And he's going to raise the crossbow. And once again, he's going to shoot at you. Can you make a body check for me? Just a move check for How me. How did he get that? Okay, I'm gonna use another plus. <laughs> that give me two successes, and then this reroll, which is totally gonna be higher than two. As the bolt flies towards you, there is a sickening thud. 
as over in the barn, Amelia and Drake, Delilah takes a breath. When you close the time loop back in October, when your sister got better, so did my dad, you know this already, but <laughs> it was like he hadn't missed a step. Suddenly, suddenly he wanted to pour over all of Nico's research, the blueprints he left, the designs, the paperwork, everything, everything I had promised to destroy once Nico returned to his own time. But my dad, <laughs> he wanted to keep it. And he was looking over it for ages until he found that. And she points at the blueprints in your hands. So we 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 built it. We had the blueprints, we had the specifications, and when it was done without thought, trusting the science of it all, my my dad put on a suit and and he stepped through. He 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 just disappeared oh, for, no. for for weeks. I and I thought he was gone and and then he stepped back through. No hazmat suit, no personal belongings, nothing he had left with, and 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 he told me everything. Everything he'd seen. He, he'd seen our past, uh, he, the past, uh, how he had seen the Logan oil fields, he'd seen our estate being built, and, and so he stayed. He stayed, he observed, he saw how much he could change, and he stayed in Eden Forest out of view, and he, he built a place for himself and, and buried his suit to fit in, and, and then he came back and and nothing had changed. Everything was exactly the same. Nothing he had done had changed anything. So he, he came back and he wanted to try the other side of the door. No. He was only gone for a day before he came back. And he didn't tell me what he saw, but immediately everything, everything changed. He, he started pulling strings. He, he got me to pull strings with the mayor. He wanted Robert back in our fold. He, and he seemed... He seemed that desperate in a way I've, I've I've really not seen him before, and and then there were the explosions, and I I <laughs> Eli's house and Darla's, and I I I I I wanted to believe it was coincidence, and then Darla came in the night you all snuck onto our estate, and. I don't know, something in her eyes. I, I just... I saw a real... Venom... in my father. Um, and I think... whatever it was he's seen... through that door... I think you know what it is. I do. Am I wrong? No. You're not. Amelia will look over at Drake. We've seen glimpses of that future, and it is horrifying. 
Your father is right to panic, but I think he's making it much worse. If anything, maybe driving us to that future. I'm scared. Miss Oliver. Whatever future you've seen, if it is anything like the past, I fear it is immutable. I need you to tell me everything, and I need you to tell me how I can help. Then get us some chairs and a lot of paper. As over in the warehouse, Dala, the bolt flies through the air, flying towards you. And you close your eyes as you almost feel the impact. There's another supernatural if you want to stop before you finish that. Oh my gosh. What? As you feel a body hit yours <clears throat> and opening your eyes, you see Artie flinging himself in the way of the block in, in the way of the bolt crumple to the metallic floor at your feet. And Matson looks at you and shrugs. Oops. Uh, I would, I would say uh, immediately she would take out the gun and use my pride and I'd shoot him back. Where are you aiming? Oh, do I think like Sam or like Darla? <laughs> Does she see where he was impacted first? That matters. Make an empathize check for me. <laughs> There's nothing in that. Jeez. Oh, I can't even get it. That's a zero. How much you need to tell? I, I can't get it. Because I only have two dice. Mm -hmm. I would need three. Uh, sorry, what'd you say, Ed? That's impossible to tell. <laughs> of course it is. But, uh, but RT is still on the floor. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Dang it, okay. Matson yeah, begins nope, to reel. Yeah, being Darla, she would immediately, just like her dad taught her, and she saved him once before, she shoots to kill. The Doesn't have to, bullet. but she does. Explodes around the room. Echoing off every metal surface. As Matson's head flies back. And he crumples to the ground. She grabs Artie. And she, not even assessing it, just gets him as best as she can, as over her shoulder as possible, and out the door. The door opens. The soft hum of the fire escape, following you down, down, down the stairs. And as you glance up through the grated stairwell, you see Matson's dead eyes following you down. And that is where we're going to end this week's session. Of course. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this story. A lot of very generous donations. Um... <laughs> well, yeah, what the heck, y'all? One, thank you, thank you. But two, stop that <laughs> with... <laughs> the timing. I don't even know if that last one was meant for me because it went as you were switching scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, no, don't um, switch yet. It just happened. <laughs> you are an incredible audience. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Um, also, <laughs> how are we all doing? 
We are doing great. How are you feeling, Ed? How are you feeling, Justice? Oh, yeah, good. Yes. I I love drama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I that was really hard and... to choose. I love I love good storytelling, uh, which you all provide every single week, week in and week out. And so do you, audience. You yeah. you have crafted the, the worst moments in this campaign. <laughs> the most immorally grey, the most immorally fraught, uh, and that's where we exist. We, we love that. Yeah. I'm gonna change the music up. This is way more. No, way I kind of like it actually. We gotta go to like, yeah. our, our weird happy music after trauma. The oh my gosh, fingers. the shock! <laughs> the shock. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Sorry if that was a lot for some people. I really was going back and forth on it, but there's just no way she wouldn't. Yeah. Especially because I though. couldn't assess. So if I got that success and could see like if it wasn't in a life threatening spot potentially, it would have been a different shoot, but. There's also the threat of your dad, plus your house, plus everything yeah. else. Just, it's a lot of emotion. And yeah. he was reloading, so. Yeah. Where yeah. did he get all those? <laughs> <laughs> just made them. I'm yeah, just like, I'm gonna get my vengeful body, just like, <laughs> no, there were out multiple. Paper, like, bullseye, and... Yeah. She just didn't have them all out whenever she did it to Magnus. Yeah. That's why she's like, I only had one. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a lot. Yeah, what a good time. Great, great time. <laughs>